And we are back. Catch Company Podcast. I'm John. With me as always, Tyler. Hey, I, I can't hear the music. <laughs> it was pretty good though. <laughs> I was just in my in my head. Yeah, it was, it was, it was right pretty on. good. Okay, yeah. good. Two. Count them. One, two. Yeah. Special guest today. Yes. John Harbin. What's up? Michael Ewing Bear. Hello, hello. I like the Ewing little yeah. job. Huh? Why's that? That's I don't know. Succession? I was trying to guess your middle name. It's great, greatest of all time. It's actually what? Michael Succession. Michael. Is it really? Yeah, no, it's, it's, Bradley. Bradley. it's Brad. Oh, it's Brad. It's Brad. Brad. I was going to say, I went Ewing because that's a sweet middle name. What a first name, middle name thing. I, I used to hate my middle name. Because it's our first Just name. Just Brad. Bradley Cooper made it cool. So, no, but like Bradley <laughs> or Brad? Like Bradley. It's B-R-A-D-L-E-Y. Yeah, Michael, Michael Bradley. Okay. Michael Bradley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to go Bradley for the middle name. You have to have 100%. more than one symbol. Yeah, Michael so Brad Bear sounds really bad. Michael so, Brad Bear. Yeah, Michael Bear. Brad. Yeah. Brad Bear. Bear. Brad Bear. Anyways. Um... So we were talking about market caps before we started recording. That's our warm up. That's how we That did was the warm up because yeah. we're sophisticated and enlightened individuals. Yeah. We're adults now. Yeah. And we are adults <laughs> somehow. And uh, that led us to Microsoft's acquisition of is it just Blizzard? Blizzard Activision. Blizzard Act right. Yeah. Blizzard Activision. And they they own not Zenga. Who do they own now? King? I think that's part of it. Excuse like the me? mobile Who's company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't fucking know. What, yeah. what is this? What? Yes. Candy Crush, I think, is made by King. And, like, I think. Uh, I believe it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so worth more than any Activision Well, that, that's Blizzard the thing. Game. Is they, they, <laughs> their argument is they're buying it for the mobile. The mobile. The mobile. That's yeah. so disgusting how they're that buying, probably. They're yes, buying Activision for the mobile? They're, they're just that's buying. What they I mean, that's, that's part that, of that's it. That's just yeah. what they tell the court. You know? yeah. yeah, because. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, World of Warcraft, ever heard of it? Call of Duty, ever heard of that guy? Yeah. $69 what? billion. Dollars. What the fuck? If, if you want to own them. What, I bet they do it for seventy. Do they, do they not understand what monopolies are? Well, like, that's that, that, that was the argument, I guess. Of course, that's the FTC's thing. Where uh, what do they say? Who's left? Who the fuck? Like, <laughs> well, they're they're worried, right? Like, so the the big argument was what happens with PlayStation. They're like, oh, you can't take Call of Duty away from PlayStation. Like, it's really hinging yeah. on Call of Duty. That was the argument. Sure, because um, everything else is a PC game. It was kind of funny. One of the quotes I'm paraphrasing, but the judge was like, "Look, this isn't. I don't care if it hurts PlayStation." I care if it hurts the consumer. There's a big difference between the two. The judge is an Xbox guy. The mo- <laughs> Dude, the judge. Well, the moment she said that, they were just like, oh, okay. Like, we know how this is going. Oh, Do you the, have his the, Master Chief shirt on? Or <laughs> yeah. the gown? Yeah. The no, it was, a, it was a female. I forget, I forget her name. But The judge is Cortana. She's a cam girl Cortana. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Nah, Notice how wild. they never talk about Nintendo, by the way. Yeah, they don't give a shit Escapes about Nintendo. Escapes the well, conversation every time. So, so Nintendo was brought up, and, and uh, Microsoft was giving 10 years... Uh, parity with PlayStation, so that's on the table. That was part of the deal. Is that's they signed wild. it with PlayStation, and they said they would bring Call of Duty over to Nintendo. <laughs> They're like, for, we're, wow. we're confident for we'll children get it to, to run on Switch. Yeah, sure. That's not the point. The problem is playing it for children. <laughs> well, they, dude, some if, of them used to be on Nintendo. Yeah, like World of War yeah, and stuff. Even right? Most of them. Are, yeah, 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 yeah. If you that's look at new. the uh, some of the stuff, yeah, on but the Switch, Switch. isn't like geared towards children. <laughs> Well, so is the Wii U, but I mean, there's still M-rated games on Switch. I, I, I guess that's just why Resident Evil there, games. Resident Evil, yeah. Switches, there are, yeah. yeah, Resident Evil's on Switch on like Switch hentai. Really? Yeah, I was gonna say, don't they have a bunch Switch? of hentai yeah. games. Yeah. yeah, for like a that's dollar. So fucking, that's yeah. so. Yeah. But, yeah. but what is your guys' thought of all that? Because like it was brought actually like the FTC was the one who <laughs> issued the. It was the FTC versus Microsoft in that case, and right. I have a hard time understanding. Like, yeah, it's a big acquisition. It's big, but like. What case did the FTC really have in that? Like, yeah, it's a big acquisition, but there's multiple partnerships, like well, similar to that. You know, like no one said it. No one said a peep about Bethesda or like yeah. anything well, else. Well, no, like they, they, like, they did bring up Bethesda because uh, Bethesda, like, there are some e- like there was a lot that was brought to light, which was actually very interesting to read. So Bethesda didn't know that their games were going to be exclusive, right? Mm-hmm. Which didn't go over well with them because, like, as any developer, you want the most people to play your yeah, game because you actually yeah. care about the, right. the consumer right. and the most profit. But, um, you know. but funnily enough, before Microsoft bought Bethesda, Sony was in talks to make Starfield exclusive to PlayStation. Yeah, I saw so that. it's very oh, hard wow. to yell at Microsoft being like, oh, you're a monopoly. Oh, oh. But like, meanwhile, Everyone you were trying, trying to do, do the exact yeah. same thing but, and but, just give them But that's also money. the point. Like, Sony has leading market share position that's not particularly close right now, too. So like, right. how... Uh, Which was the argument that Microsoft was making, yeah. 
Yeah. And like, but that's, that's a winning argument. I mean, what, what are you supposed to say to that? Well, we're secondary in the market. How are we a monopoly? Like, <laughs> yeah, well, exa- well, they're, they're technically tertiary because Nintendo's above them as well. So they're, yeah, they're I mean, third place out of, yeah. out of the big three. So it's like, wow. Sony's you know, like, we want to stay at number one. <laughs> and, <laughs> so and I wonder, like, this. <laughs> going back to your Bethesda comment, I really wonder, like, they probably were super bummed until they found out how much they were getting from Game Pass, like revenue share. Cause it's like the game's available day one on Game Pass. So it's like, that's the crazy part about Microsoft. Microsoft just has the deep enough pockets to pay every developer. Like, hey, yeah, it's on Game Pass for free. You don't people aren't going to buy your game, but hey, here's a revenue share uh, yeah, that right. you know is it doesn't exist millions of yeah. dollars. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, that's that's the that's the big thing. Like, so anyway, all, all of that being said, the FTC lost. Uh, when I was talking about the appeal, wow. the appeal was, hey, while we're working on this, can you just stop the acquisition? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, because there is a deadline of July 18th. So if they don't close the deal by July 18th, and I mean, as we record, yeah. So yeah. if they don't close it by July 18th, they have to pay Activision $3 billion <laughs> and holy, the deal is dead. Holy wow. So FTC cleared that hurdle. You're good. Other hurdle, the UK also blocked it. So now they're like, okay, well, what do we do? There are a bunch of different options of okay, we'll just pull Blizzard out of the UK. <laughs> We're just going to take our ball and go home, <laughs> close the deal anyway, and deal with the fallout, uh, which would hurt their reputation and everything. So they're like, ah, they probably won't do that. It's the, uh, now there's talks of them kind of giving up some of their mobile acquisition in, in that area. And so so like there, there's a bunch of things on the, op- in, on the table, but I can't imagine them not doing it at this point. Like yeah, you're losing no, I mean, 3 billion it, plus court cards. It, it's cost. a following. It's like... The U.S. is probably the biggest domino in this case because if yep. you can get through the U.S. like FTC like Doesn't approval, matter. the rest of it's candy. UK specifically because like it's EU approval. It's not just like individual countries, but the UK is not that not big of a market that has well, so it's I think it's two right. Like the EU is different than the UK exactly right. now yeah, so it is because right. of Brexit, right. but yeah. right in the mm-hmm. EU, so the Blizzard pa- passed it. So yeah. the UK didn't. Yeah. The EU Blizzard. is the hardest. Is always one of the hardest ones to get. So it's like when you so get the they, EU, you're they got that. EU yeah. and US. I mean, what what case does the UK really have to say no? We don't think so. But right, they're a small country in comparison. To yeah, both. and it's not like you know. I don't know what Activision's game share, market share, whatever you want to call it, is in the UK. But I assume it's not as high as in other parts like the US or you yeah, know, not even uh, close. Not even close. So like, if you pass the market that you were proposedly the most dominant in. I don't know. I don't see it being held up now. I think it's like it's basically green lights. I mean, they got, they got to make up. What well, you said was uh, Tuesday is the 18th. So yeah. like by, by the time people are hearing this, they have till tomorrow. Yeah. We'll, we'll know by crazy. then. Crazy. Yeah. So 60, it's like 68 and some change, but $69 billion. So hold on. 69 is a better number. Hold on then. How is WoW going to work? It's subscription based. Are you going to be able to play that on Game Pass? Ten dollars a month. So they don't know. There was actually I forget who went on record from Microsoft saying that like Diablo is not going to Game Pass. So it's it's not guaranteed that all of that is going over to Game Pass. Um, but it's also not like stipulated like it can't. Like that's so obviously I've, their prerogative. Now I have to load those games through a shitty interface called Windows 10 and Windows 11. No, maybe not necessarily. <sighs> I hope not. I mean, who knows? Well, like, you, you don't know what that looks like yet. And even if I you guess. did, it's going to take quite a bit of time for that Ooh, to, yeah. to happen. By then, they'll have Windows 12 out. Probably. Yeah. Well, isn't, wasn't Windows 10 supposed to be, like, the last window? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, they put okay. a, then they put 11 out? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I think part of it, too, is, like, look at what they did with League, where it's like, yeah, you can go through... Microsoft, but you're still downloading the the Riot the client, yeah, client and everything. Same happen. with Ubisoft. It's going to be the same thing. Yeah. What, what, do you, happen, yeah. what do you think happens about Auto.net though? I think they keep it's it. Same That's thing. What you think they saying. keep it? Yeah. Because yeah. the Riot client's still there. Game side, like yeah. Game Pass. I think for the longest, because like look at look at Bethesda stuff. I mean, like it's still very much like Bethesda. Like when you launch an Epic game, like not Fortnite, for example, you launch if you bought Valorant and well, bought yeah, bought Valorant on Epic, it launches to the Riot app afterwards. Yeah. Right, it has to launch there because it has to interact that way. Or it could be like EA, where you launch right. it through Siege. Xbox, but then it opens the EA app. Right, Siege is just so fucking annoying. annoying. It's, it's yeah. very dumb. Yeah. yeah, I hate that. Right. EA app's the most annoying one. I had to do that for Star Wars. Right. That, that you, you play, like, yeah. you play's pretty annoying too. But you play, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. annoying. Hundred percent. They're all very annoying. Just yep. make one app. Hey, remember when Ubisoft games came out? 
Yeah, me too. <laughs> Remember when Ubisoft games were good? Yeah, yeah well, that's also yeah, been a that's, while. That's Skull, better... Skull and Bones might come out this year. Dude, Actually, I'm not Assassin's that Creed 4 remake, I bet you, comes out before Skull and Bones comes out. <laughs> why, why would they remake? You want to put a cheeseburger on that? <laughs> Is there a cheeseburger going on here? I'd put a cheeseburger on that. Considering Assassin's Creed Assassin's 4 is still Creed rumored. 4. Whoa, whoa, it's hey. still rumored. Yeah. <laughs> Don't lose your cheeseburger here. Yeah. You have it on the hook. <laughs> I, I need a couple more beers before I start. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You're like TBD ruined. on this. Yeah. Yeah. Wanted to get it in the recording. Yeah. I, do a, I do a cheeseburger on an Oppenheimer review score. If you, you throw out a number, you tell me what it has to beat. I feel pretty confident that Oppenheimer is going to... I want to remind you, Tyler, you got wrecked it. on this on Hogwarts. I, so. I got wrecked on Hogwarts. I got wrecked on Sonic. No, actually, I think I was good on Sonic. There was uh, a Sonic game? <laughs> what? what was Tenet rated? Do we remember? Oppenheimer is the Nolan yeah. film, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, that's a good call. I don't know. I would probably say like a 94. On Rotten Tomatoes? Probably. Probably. Wait, what, which one? Whoa. The that's a pretty audi- high number. Yeah. Yeah. Out <laughs> now. Wait, you're taking the over <laughs> under on that. Wait, the audience or the uh, yeah. critics? That's important. That's I always huge. go critic. Always go critic? Yeah. Oh, That's a ripe... I think the Tomatoes. critics are stupid. So. Absolutely. Oh, 100%. 100%. But I, I still go critic. I mean, like, what are you going to do? Audience is so... Yeah. Would you would you be willing to talk down to a 90 <laughs> or 92? <laughs> so you're saying I have 92 and lower? Yes. And you Why don't you just take lower? And or higher. would you do... Uh, uh, yeah, or, yeah, or we could... Set the we line at 94 and then go... <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I no, genuinely think, I genuinely think critic, to... critic score is going to beat 94, but it's going to be close, I think. Like, I think it's going to be like a 95, 96, or like... I'll put a cheeseburger on it then. Uh, yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm trying what I'm to saying. ask. Would you go down to... What if we did something like this? That's why 94 is a good 94 line. 94 yeah, and above. It's, it's good. 94 and above, I win. Okay. 93, 94 is a wash. 92 below, you win. Fuck that. No, don't take that deal. That's a terrible deal. Wait, ninety three and four. So it'd be not. You get ninety five and above. Yes, ninety three and four is a, a wash. I would do ninety four as a wash, and I'll take ninety three and below. Oh, this is fascinating. <laughs> I'll do it. Fascinating. Yeah, I'm, right, I'm gonna put it's it recorded. in the count, put it in the notes. Okay, I'll take that. So ninety four is a wash. That's an interesting line. What about Barbie? <laughs> I uh, couldn't. I couldn't say. I'll take. I, don't know. <laughs> I you know normally Barbie, I would probably put it like. 75. Tell you what, yeah, you set like the I line like over under 75. Yeah. Over 75. I think Barbie that. beats Sonic. I think in Sonic. It has Margot good. Robbie in it. That's easy over 75. Yeah, you, and just it doesn't take itself seriously. Look at freaking stuff, huh? What you about her? It? Like, people have been calling her mid. Mid? Yeah. Dude, in what yeah. fucking universe? <laughs> I don't know, man. Wait, who, who is Ro- Margot Robbie's past? Is that you? No. No, no, no. no, no Wait, no. who are you? You're Emma Watson, huh? Yeah, Emma Stone. Yeah. Emma it's Stone. me. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. So it's you, Margot Robbie? Mar- yeah. Margot Robbie's in my short list. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he has a list? <laughs> you get one. No, so it, it's it, my, my point is she's probably the, the most recent, like, Yes, she's probably the most recent past. It used to be Mila Kunis for a very long time. Oh. Until she got too mm-hmm. old. It's no, not even no, that. No, it's like she's ruined. still there. It's, it's just earning, she's, she's clearly well off the market now. <laughs> Ashton <laughs> ruined her. She looks like a child. <laughs> you think <laughs> she looks like a you child, see, but you think Margot she... Robbie looks older than her? Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. What? No. Margot Mila Kunis looks, looks like she's 18, dude. No, she does not. A hundred percent. As long as you look at her face and just look at her height. When you're dating, you're allowed to have a list. When you're married, it's like one. Oh well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I can yeah, yeah. I can do whatever. You can, so, yeah. You personally, so just but so I like being a part of the group. Just so <laughs> right. We said one. 95 and above, I win. 94 is a wash. 93 and below, you win. Yeah. Okay. Got it. We're good. Wow. I mean, I'm I'm not worried about you, it. This uh, is recorded forever. You almost. Yeah. We're good. We're doing good on bets. I think I think you'll be all right. There's I more on I'm the good. line here for that than probably the Microsoft transaction. He's gonna he's gonna lose it when he hears about some. Some bets we made yesterday. Who? Me? No. Michael. Oh, uh, us? I, oh, I, I, oh, that's, should we get into the betting uh, bullshit? I do have uh, sports BS on my, on my list uh, of topics. Should we to do that about. now? Uh, yeah, why not? Go for it. All right, let me tell you about the Los Angeles Rams. Yeah. And how they're going <laughs> to win the division. At plus 1,000. Plus 1,000. Oh, that's a good John bet. and John have I slammed. Like, I like that. He likes he it. He likes it. That's you thought rare. he was going to hate it. I don't like it anymore. It's a huge <laughs> bounce back spot can you, for them, Can dude. you transfer your bet to somebody else? <laughs> yeah. You can probably cash I can, out. I can cash it out right now. <laughs> what, what is, just, just curious, what is what was the makes playoffs versus wins division? I don't know. Uh, probably 
half at least. Yeah, at least. Like plus 500 to make yeah. the playoffs. I could look, I, but... There's like three wild card teams it, now. It's, it's like really everyone, everyone gets into the playoffs. Way easier. I mean, if you think about that division, I, it's really between them and the 49ers. But who I, are the 49ers playing a quarterback? Yeah, that's the issue. Uh, that's the issue. Hundred percent, dude. This Brock is a Purdy. huge brain play. Brock Purdy's terrible. It doesn't matter. They have Purdy's not going to be able to recreate. Yeah, the but success then, they, then they have Trey Lance again. I don't Trey, Lance Trey Lance is shit, is terrible. dude. Trey Lance He's is terrible. awful. I think Trey Lance with McCaffrey in the backfield is scary, personally. I think anyone with it, me yeah. in the with McCaffrey yeah, but, in the backfield, but you're not is a good. running quarterback. You know, you're more you. you strike I can me move. More of a pocket. Passer, I can move. You know? No, you're a pocket passer. Yeah. <laughs> you're, John's a pocket passer. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the Tyler's problem. Tyler's a water boy. I, I'll the, take a water boy. Here's yeah, the problem like with water. Trey Lance. They get paid everybody, good. everybody needs water. He can't throw the ball. That's a great... Oh, He's a runner. He can throw it deep. So no, he cannot. Who gives no, a he shit? can't. He's got a pretty far deep ball. Okay, in Division Not 1... Not accurate. In, in Division 1 AA, it's He's easy, bad. easy to accomplish. In the He's NFL, it's, it's impossible to accomplish a deep ball. Uh, okay, yeah, fair enough. We'll see. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If I were you, that's my one concern: is how goes San Francisco sure. this year? Matt Stafford's easily the best quarterback in that division. Yes, I think that bodes well. Like you're giving me best quarterback plus mm-hmm. one thousand to win a division. And that's Coop- a steal. But Cooper they, Cup's healthy. But they Cooper's complete, back. But they completely revamped the defense, though. That's the one thing I'm a bit worried. Is Don, about. Did Don retire? No, but there is talks they might trade him. So that that does yeah. concern. Ramsey's me. gone. <laughs> Ramsey was old. Yeah, but if you have Aaron Donald, dude, you're always just stuck. you're in it. You're so stuck. Harbin's pretty like. You know, queasy right now on the bet, and maybe because it's, Mike, maybe he it's was because, prepared to fight. Well, could you could you remind him what plus it. one thousand means? Just oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. So John, plus one thousand, <laughs> it's the odds. Oh, thank you. So it's exce- it's essentially ten x. Yeah. So if I bet a dollar, I get ten dollars. Yeah. Technically eleven because I get the dollar back. Right. So we bet you bet five fiver for fifty yeah, five fifty five, and I bet twelve seventy five because I had a hundred and. Uh, Hundred twelve and seventy five cents. I was like, "Oh my god, you put twelve I was, I was like, hundred dollars on no, it. No, no. Twelve dollars. I, like, I don't know cents. if I feel that good about it. <laughs> you imagine? So bro? wait, like yeah, if you I mean, win, that's... you're getting fifty fifty five dollars back. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. about, dude. It's about I mean, uh, being right. Wait, how much did you put on it? Five, just a five, five bucks spot, yeah. to win fifty five. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's not yeah, even that's... a video game. It's okay. a DLC. I, here we go. That's, here that's it like is. A, that's almost like my master's bet. That's not though. even like, like John a, Rom. Like yeah. plus like nine hundred. I put ten down. That's a month yeah. of McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. I, and we won that. Yeah, we won a yeah. hundred bucks off of that. Yeah. 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 Think about that, that nice big day. guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice day. Dude, it's it's not about getting rich. It's about being right. Yeah, it's about building units. Okay. I still it's can't about you bet one hundred thirteen dollars on the Rams to win the division. That's a lot. No, no, I bet twelve dollars no, and seventy five cents. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Because I had, I had a <laughs> hundred and twelve in my account. Hey, but he, that's and I rounded. I, I, I remember you, he but said one hundred twelve dollars yeah. and seventy five cents, and I was like, "What does no. that mean?" <laughs> that that would be all my units. Got, that would be a bad zero. play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> can you, can I can I go on a rant about a uh, a shitty app that I don't know if I want to name just for fear of litigation for you guys and your podcast. Okay. Oh, <laughs> dude, well, hold guess, on. Just, if we're in court, dude, that's publicity. Dude, dude, just say it, allegedly. It's fine. The Batman should have. No, it's not even allegedly at this ago. point. But allegedly, <laughs> no, the there Batman is, saves you. Fuck. DraftKings. Whoa. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's where you're saying. I know it was like a normal place. podcast sponsor. Let me, like, okay. Let me, let me, yeah, let me. Right. <laughs> oh, you mean our sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> let me paint the scene for you, boys. Oh. They, oh, boy. they have this really good looking promo. They do deposit matches all the time. And it's like, oh, you put in so much, you get a 100% match. And usually you have to play through it or you have to take the winnings and win that. I get that. Completely mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This was a casino specific one. <laughs> so oh, I oh, was like, okay, dude. I'll do, I'll put in 300 bucks. I'll do multi hand blackjack and you get $600 total, basically. So double your money. It actually goes, yeah. Qu- Wait, quite so money. what's the promo? 100% deposit match up to two grand, mind you. Uh, so I put 300 in. So and, what's the stipulation? Well, let me get to that. Oh, boy. So I start playing. Very up and down, but pretty much I, I never went below the 600 that I started with. I got as high up as 900 up to a grand, and it, I was actually cycling through it pretty quickly. I probably put, there was like a, another promo that it was like tracking for me, mm-hmm. and it was like, oh, you, uh, the, the grand jackpot or a chance to win a sweepstakes was like $9,000. I was at like three grand cycling through wow. with that same 600. So just playing multi hand blackjack quite extensively. And I kept checking because I was like, I'm pretty close to like playing through this. Yeah. Like I'm like, I'm okay with cash. like, yeah, let me see if I can get my $600 right. out. Yeah. So I wake up one morning, I go and check. All the money's gone. 
Oh. No idea why. So I go through my transaction history, and it says uh, bonus forfeiture, $675. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense. I didn't say that I was forfeiting this. You just took all your money. So I I sent an email to... um, to DraftKings just saying, hey, like, I don't know what happened. This this shows I didn't forfeit anything. And they uh, then they go, per the terms of this uh, agreement, you didn't play, you didn't hit the playthrough bonus in time. So you forfeited your initial deposit plus all winnings and your, your old deposit. deposit. So I was like, uh, no. So I, I started reading through, and this is the crazy part. The terms and conditions, it talks about a playthrough bonus at first, and it's buried in the middle of the terms and conditions. Yeah. It first mentions 30 days, which it wasn't 30 days. 30 minutes. He mentioned seven days in his email. So I had seven days, apparently, with this thing buried in the middle of the terms and conditions. I had seven days to play through the deposit and the matching 15 times over. So I don't know what the math oh is on that. God. Let's say six hundred dollars. Wait, why fifteen times over? That's, that's just part the of stipulation. the stipulation. So I had to actually invest nine grand oh passing through of this to get your three hundred dollars back. Get, to get my three hundred dollars back plus whatever the plus bonus was. Bonus. Like I said, it's not like I wasn't using it. I was like four yeah. or five grand, and I wasn't even trying to d- withdraw the money. I was still right. playing through it. But I was like, dude, I would have responded to the guy. I was like. You know, like your terms and conditions says thirty days right above it. Like, don't you think that's a little misleading? Yeah. <laughs> like, so didn't matter. So I was like, honestly, if you want to be like, you know, have shady terms and conditions buried at like the bottom of like page nine Holy is fuck. when I found this. I was like, just cancel my account out because I'm like, I'm done with DraftKings. I'm going to Fanduel. Yeah. Uh, and he was like, yeah, sure, no problem. And then <laughs> even had the guts to send me a survey to ask how they did <laughs> yeah. and how they could improve DraftKings. And I'm like, oh, boy. That's, that's, gotta, that's I, automated. I, I like, cracked open the doc like that. <laughs> so I was like, let's go. Let's write a book. But I was blown away. I was like, I've never... Like, we've done deposit matches before during, like, football season. They do that all the yeah, time. Yeah. And then usually it's like you put in, like, you 100 bucks, you get 100 bucks back, and you just have to play through. Like, you can't withdraw that. Hundred, yeah. You have to win and then win again, like usually right. two, three times. But a fifteen times playthrough That's in seven horseshit, days, dude. The way it works like, for sports though is they give you like bonus money. Yeah, like it's money you cannot withdraw. Yeah, you, have you have to, to use, use it. Yeah, but and you, then you it can expires. Keep, but and you it tells keep you the winning. A hundred percent. Exactly. You, you also keep yeah. the money you put in. Yeah. But the fact yeah. that they take your yeah. money. Yeah, that's, that's fucking that's crazy. Yeah. That's Especially because I, I played it over five six times over. Yeah. yeah. And I was still you know positive or still there. And then to take the initial deposit oh plus the God. winnings, like I could maybe understand. But like, that's robbery. Why would you make a fifteen times playthrough in a seven day period? Like, do you know? Like, I would have to literally be doing that. Almost twenty four seven to play yeah. nine grand through that machine. Right. Like, yeah. They. I was like, they ro- that's 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 stealing. I don't care what the fucking. That's what I say. said. I was you like, that is literally. I was like, that is like, bait and switch yeah. advertising, and it doesn't mention it anywhere on like the base uh, ad. It's like you literally have to go to the bottom that. of the terms and conditions. Oh my god. Yeah. So I, I was like, shit. you know, it like yeah, it's three hundred dollars. It's not worth hiring an attorney over. But I was like, that is no. that is my yeah. Stuff. But I mean, it could be. Well, they're actually. I remember reading something that somebody, some attorney, was suing DraftKings for a, class a type of term and condition. Class, yeah. I wonder if it's like, uh, yeah, if it keep turns an eye on for that. There's gonna be a class coming. Oh, soon. I was furious. That's yeah. fucking crazy. I would be yeah. so pissed. And this is also the same time that I went down to the actual casino yeah, yeah, and lost, and lost, lost another yeah. three hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, bro. Yeah, so yeah. it was not a good week. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. week, and I oh, went from okay, I'm good gambling for a while. Yeah. As I maybe go down this weekend, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go tomorrow. You need help, bro? Tomorrow. No, I'm good. I have that self-control. Would, uh, Hopefully, so Miranda doesn't listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I minus played. 900 got self One self-control. of our episodes, we put a, the gambling hotline on the description. <laughs> did we? Yeah. yeah. You did? Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> I'd be yeah. so... Oh, I'd... I wouldn't have stopped. I deleted I, the app. I was I, done. Yeah, 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 I was done. Yeah, I was John like, would have right, closed it out, raised and salted the field. I would. <laughs> would have, oh, would dude, I can only really imagine. I would have burned some bridges. It could be a hundred dollars, bro. Yeah. Can you five. imagine, like, if yeah. you actually, like, sure. if you're like, oh wow, this is a free two grand, like, yeah. put two thousand in. Yeah. So, like, what would that be? Four grand deposit times fifteen times playthrough. Yeah, imagine so, if you'd done more than three hundred dollars. You would have to put sixty grand through the DraftKings app. 
to get that. And when you're saying put 60 grand through, you mean like play $60,000 worth worth of hands. So you would have to win a lot with your four grand. You got to keep winning. You would never never lose the four grand. So there there have been some times where I've been on my FanDuel Casino app going, uh, having a good time playing like a casino game and like yeah. pops up and goes, hey man, you've waited seven thousand dollars in the past hour and I go, oh, oh, have I? Yeah, well, just two more grand and I get my six hundred. Maybe I should stop. <laughs> <laughs> and now, granted, like Mike said, I'm I wasn't down. I'm just sure. back and forth, up and down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's like you look at that and you go, oh, thanks for keeping count for me. I'm done. <laughs> and I wonder if that's something like. Lawsuit wise, where they had to, like, they have to, they have to warn you, yeah, they have to warn you, right? And and right. and you know, I always had my doubts on the odds of like those apps, Digital, like yeah. the payouts and stuff. It's like I've never seen such low cards in one span when every time a dealer, dude, needs the moment, it. the moment you do <laughs> that kind of stuff, yeah. like I. I don't think you can, and maybe this is not the case anymore. But like when you're talking computers, you can't do random. Right? Wasn't well, that they, like a they, big thing? They for have the a time? they have an edge, but the edge has to be within legal parameters defined by the gaming commission. Yeah, but the, the gaming commission is literally there because casinos exist. So if no casinos existed, because no casinos were making money, there wouldn't be a gambling commission. Yeah, so like it's yeah. you know like so the gambling commission has no say over. No, they like they apps? they audit and verify the. Um, the odds and plays through and they do like computer simulations. The auditor to comes in. And, and hey, to dude, be fair, I, won, like, like, $300 like I said, off this, this nut job. <laughs> like, it, it, here, take yeah. it. It is very, it is very streaky. So like that, mm-hmm. I get that. It makes sense. Like it, I don't think the, the actual odds on the app were unfair. I just say, and I'm not even saying allegedly, but I'm saying they did steal $300. They stole, yeah, dude, like, they stole 300 bucks Via a Holy technicality shit. and a terms and conditions contract. But hey, yeah. kids, read your contracts. Uh, yeah, I guess. Every Even word. if you read <laughs> the contract, word. do you understand the contract? Which is the, yeah. the, answer's the no. main question. Especially but, when they had literally two paragraphs next to each other. One said 30 days and the well, next one the said What was the 30 day days. Did you go back and look? I think it was all states, but for some reason, Pennsylvania was seven. <laughs> Oh, so. <laughs> oh, oh my! So yeah, uh, that's, well, uh, so maybe I will pull my money out in solidarity because I only used that app for Wrexham games last year because they were allowed you to bet in the yeah. National League, whereas Fanduel doesn't let you do that. Or pour one out for your old your homie. Yeah. <laughs> if you got any uh, referral bonuses or good bonuses with uh, Fanduel, you let me know. I'll refer you. Uh, yeah. That's what uh, I was going to wait till football season because I haven't really been betting on games anyway. But yeah, right now it's a bad time to bet. Yeah, no, baseball sucks. Baseball sucks. Yeah, I baseball. don't know. We had fun with baseball that one time we went. Yeah, oh, one night so betting crazy. on a random homer that was hitting the bottom. That, that was yeah, that, was, that was the nuts. most fun I've ever had doing yeah. sports betting. Yeah. It was that night. That was Anthony nuts, Rizzo, bro, and the fucking uh, bottom nine. It's those bets, and then the under eighteen hockey championships on, and that was awesome. which, by the way, how is that legal? There were a lot yeah. of penalties, Slam, under slamming little, yeah. literal kids, yeah, yeah slamming yep. the oh, what? I, couldn't you Over bet on the World Series half? too? Like I thought, oh, I'm sure you can. Some people were letting you bet on a little weird World Series. And I bet MGM. I bet you. Look and it was at Rivers. Yeah. No, I yeah. bet, I that's bet you, crazy. I bet you bet MGM. I'll let you do it. Yeah, I, that, Rivers, I didn't even think that was legal. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean they're children, I so thought, they could be fucking purchased. So. Well, what? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> All right. Not in that way, but, you know. Dude, anyway, so I changed my casino recently. I think I'm going to. The Meadows is awesome. Which one? What happens? It's that Hollywood thing? Casino, right? Well, you're going to the Meadows. I went to the Meadows last How week. How far away is that? That's like an hour for you, It's like bro. 30, min- 30 minutes. It's an hour for me. In a Challenger. Isn't it called Hollywood Casino now? Yeah. It's like isn't no, it, it still says the Meadows Racetrack and Casino. They have table games, but it is hundred percent. But it's sponsored. It's sponsored by Hollywood Casino and the yes. Meadows. I always heard the Meadows uh, does pay out better than they dude. Are, they the Meadows promos. is crazy. They have table games. Their blackjack is all shoes. They don't have any automatic shufflers. You get free drinks at the table. I was playing at a fifteen dollar oh. table and I was getting free drinks. But I heard they cut you off pretty quickly at the Meadows. Not me. I was like four Yinglings in. Okay, let's go to the Meadows. Yeah. Like, come no. on. Insane. Right. And the river just shoves it up your ass. So. Yeah. Uh, Barstool Man, Sportsbook is there. All the bridges. <laughs> huh? And their sportsbook's so sick, dude. They got a huge bar in the middle of the sportsbook. They have like cornhole and par- like yard games That's awesome. on the side. My only, it's like a restaurant. It's so sick. I don't have Barstool because I don't trust As much as I. As so. much as I. Dave's my uh, hero. <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust him. So he's if, why? If, if it he's is a crook, man. If it is Hollywood well, Casino, I might have trouble because he's sold. 
Because he's no, so no, versatile? He's, he's just a crook in general. Who else do we want to flame? How do you feel about Joe Rogan? <laughs> <laughs> let's just, let's oh, just yeah, cut them all. Well, all right, yeah. let's, let's. You guys want to do DMT or what? <laughs> we what, about the Hollywood, what about Hollywood Casino? What's so uh, DraftKings is partnered with Hollywood uh, Casino. So if fair, Meadows yeah, is Hollywood yeah. Casino, it's the same company we're same supporting. Company, yeah. yeah. Dude, Meadows is awesome. Dude, that's, I that's go, the same with anything. Any company you hate is owned by a bigger yeah, company yeah. that owns But I would be surprised if... You said Barstool was in the Meadows? He did say that. Yeah, Barstool's is, yeah. It's sports book, it's Barstool. It's, it's not. Casino. It can't be that. Yeah, because it'd be DraftKings for their sports book. It would be. Are you sure? Yeah. Unless it's I all feel pretty confident. Same. You should see who owns Meadows and if if Hollywood Casino is affiliated. I'll just with pull Meadows. up the DraftKings app. When you go to casino, see. you're going to see Hollywood Casino in the top. And dra- well, yeah, you have yeah, a you would, you would, you know, <laughs> you yeah. staring at that you know, shit. Not, not that I put four or five yeah. grand through that app recently. and Their stock's up, though, so. Oh yeah, of course it is because uh, I just want to say dude, yeah. Okay, so that's oh you're right. It is Hollywood Casino, the Meadows. That's so strange. Shit. Their sports book is Barstool. Maybe well, Barstool probably got their foot in the door first before DraftKings could. I guess that's so strange. Barstool is a Pennsylvania thing, so it's sick though. I really like the place. We should go and and uh, for like been. a horse race, dude. That would be so. Oh, fun. I'd be down oh, dude, for I would that. not. I would not bet a horse racing. Why? <laughs> so, nah, nah, the hell only, yeah, let's I, do it. So. My, Dress uh, up, go for a fucking race, man. It's I, a nice I track. Sister, sister, yeah, yeah, yeah. His bachelor parties in the Kentucky Derby. No shit. Uh, you so, going? Yeah, that's awesome. So I, I think he invited me, so that's I'm going to awesome. dress up, and that'll be wanna, my first horse racing. Is experience. it actually the Derby? I want to double check. Just, just another race yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Derby. He invited so me. next year, mm-hmm. that's awesome. We were doing that for prom. We were Kentucky Derby night at the track, and it was all digital. But we were we were like getting like Shirley Temples and. Like oh, betting, on, betting on the um, oh, that's air quotes. The track yeah. is, you know, eighteen year olds. So yeah. I watched a video of a Reddit post about um, someone that they were doing like a a gambling thing at their company, it was like a sales thing, and they were like, "Oh yeah, you can play all these casino games, whatever, with like three hundred dollars of like play money. Whatever you win at the end of the night is yours to keep." And though, so he went to a craps table, and instead of them doing the real odds on the craps table. He was only playing craps, so someone walked over. One of the people in charge was like, hey, just make everything two to one make it easier. <laughs> what? <laughs> this, yeah. This dude knew how to play craps and was like, he didn't say a fucking word. Yeah, why would you? Yeah. Wait, goes, what? Yep. So the six and the eight, two to one. Two to one payout. Yep. When it's literally like, I don't even know how to play craps, and I know that that's exciting. <laughs> dude, exciting? That, <laughs> do you know what your EV is? <laughs> They're no. just print, you're printing money. You're printing I haven't played Pokemon money. in a while. Printing the, money. Printing money. That's, but is it like a like a communal pot and like he's just digging into that? Like, is no, no, there no, no, one no. Win, winner? No. Or is no, it just no, like no. here's Everyone, the pot yeah. of crap? If you wouldn't play blackjack and Mike wouldn't play gra- blackjack and play craps, you could win 300 bucks. You could win yeah, 400 yeah, bucks. Okay, so I we walk, he walked out of there with, with like $3,000, starting with $300 when, in two hours. How are you allowed to do What is the house edge when they do that? Like, what would that be? Six. It's like six. You got to bet. Two to one on anything? Yeah. So, like, what would your edge be against the house? And uh, like, above 60%? At least. Because you get, what is it? You bet five. You bet $6 to get your one. Six back. to five. Yeah. Six to five on the sixes and eights. Oh my god, that would he made it to yeah, one. That, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're approaching like 70. Yeah, 70 percent. Wow, fucking unbelievable yeah. value. So, so, like, for reference, Tyra, when we do blackjack, the house edge is like 50.5 percent. So, like, you have a 49.5 percent edge, like, that's not the, even an edge, you have a disadvantage. Yeah, but that's yeah. actually way closer. Than but if it was, was like blackjack's the best, well, game. that depends. The moment they go to like six to five or they do like Ooh. triple zero roulette, like I was joking yeah, with you yeah, the one day, yeah, yeah, yeah. the house edge gets closer to 60 some percent. Yeah, but but um, hmm. that was wild when I saw that video. I was that's like, disgusting, Holy dude. Shit. We got to go there. That's yeah, the craziest shit company. ever. Yeah, 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 just yeah. get hired. That's I'm, I'm down, I'm down to do a trip to the meadows. Yeah, if we made a craps. Be fun. Yeah, they have everything. Craps, oh, and they have some things that uh, Rivers doesn't have. Like, is that a hotel? Uh, no, there is sure a, hotel a hotel there. Yeah, yeah it's, have a, it's oh, right by where um, we just stay there. It's where up. Abby and yeah. Nate got yeah. married. It was it? right there. Was it really? The hotel. Yeah, the oh, hotel was right there. Interesting. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Far away? Mm-hmm. Huh. I would like to do that. Is if we if we got go a for a horse race, like, stay for craps. Go blow, bankrupt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, blow, blow some money. Yeah. Blow a thousand dollars, probably. Dude, I would play craps. I won six hundred bucks. I was there last week. 
What? Put 200 in. The fuck, Just dude? played blackjack. So this is my oh, first good blackjack session. Yeah. No wonder he wants to Or the Meadows. Uh, Meadows. Okay. What is this? And, he doesn't dude, do, he I was just... Ask anymore if I want to go play I was ripping everything. Everyone else was losing, just, except for me. So they have Ultimate Hold'em? Yeah, yeah. It's so fucking I would, dumb, I would man. love that. that that's have, my new favorite uh, game, by probably the way. with Devin. I know, right? Isn't it an so awesome game? Awesome yeah, he's probably with Devin. I know. I went by myself. Bullshit. I swear to God. Why would you go by yourself? I had nothing to do, and everyone was busy. Hold on a sec. Let me see if your phone works. Oh, it does. That's weird. <laughs> I do. Damn, yeah, I dude. went. Damn, I just went. Dude. It was f- so fun. It was a great time. Anyways, uh, they didn't take my 600 when I left. It was like crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I could just I walked <laughs> out. You just kept it all. I like so they give you chips when you go live. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And like you go to this teller, kind of like a gated thing. There's like a woman working there. I. Put the chips on the table. And they give you money back. And they gave me yeah. $100 bills. Yeah. Six of them. That's nice. And then I walked out. Yeah. Yeah. That's four more than what you gave them initially. Yes. That's crazy. You just got to go there more often. It's that easy. <laughs> <laughs> quit. Yeah. Now, think, of, what, think of that. Like, they let, the, they let, like, oh, yeah, we'll let the small guy win $600 and he's going to brag about it on his podcast and attract all these new customers. Oh, yeah. What all if they money. knew? Yeah, that would be fucking they deserve next every level, penny. dude. They deserve every I love yeah. that theory, and that makes me want to go more <laughs> <laughs> Test that theory out. They, they have a facial scanner and goes, oh, this guy's... Oh, couch he, code? He's yeah. never been yeah. here before. Done. Let, him, fucking, let him win some yeah. cash. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. This how, guy looks like some cartoon on a podcast <laughs> artwork. As, as, we're, cool. as we're about 40 minutes in, we'll say, please gamble responsibly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to have to put the hotline on. It. How yeah. crazy is it, though, that nobody at any craps table we've ever been at knows how to fucking roll dice? Dude, I don't know. How to roll. I am a terrible dice roller. I do well, but I just fucking, you see me throw. Right, it's terrible. I'm saying, like, when we're there together, no one at the table can throw with the two of us. Literally just pass. Like, oh, but, yeah, yeah. But they don't pass because they're, they're all terrible. Dude, did I ever tell you the one time Devin and I were at Craps and we were playing don't the whole time <laughs> and there and were raking, like eight right? sevens in a row. Yeah, we were the only two left yeah. at the table. Yeah. They were People fucking all pissed. gone. We were real pissed. And then we switched to the pass when yeah, we, we were starting, we were throwing, we were starting yeah. crushing. That's the problem. You're supposed to. That's the real way to real, I'm, real way to play craps. It's a bet against the fucking I am so up on craps. It makes me not want to play. Because I'm due to lose so much. That's usually how it works. Like, 100%. I remember when I first started, like, I did not lose money in blackjack for, like, 10 trips. Like, it was insane. Oh, and then God. ever since Damn. I and said anything. One night he brought us. Yeah. Oh, dude, he brought us for his birthday. He's like, oh, look at me making all this money. But Hold'em is different. Hold'em's the new game for me. I've only lost hold at Hold'em once, and it wasn't that you bad. You play basic strategy? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good boy. I like I like Hold'em. I actually, Man. I'm sorry, you might hate me. I, I do love the progressive bet. The, uh, oh, so on, bad. On the flop. So no, you don't bad. understand. I, I do understand. I hit like You talk four, about expected value, bro. I hit four straights on the What's flop. What's the percentage on that one? I, I, but the it pays edge. out 150 each time, so it <laughs> made its edge and more. But, so yeah. mad, dude. Yeah. For all night, he's like, yeah, keep going. It's fine. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. Oh, you do and, it too? But then I got what, one. But Tyra, yeah, Tyra hit his too when I told him to do it. So. No, I never hit it. I thought you did. No, was I, that John you talking Knight? trips or yeah. progressive? Not trips. I don't do trips. I don't like the odds and trips. Dude, I, I was the progressive. Getting, I like. That. I got. I got a flush. The I got payout on <laughs> fucking annual. The payout on trips is crazy because payout on trips is ten dollar minimum. Dude, the, the progressive minimum. is so much worse. There's, house edge. There's than no trips. reason to do that when you could just bet on like. I do neither. Full house. Uh, like, uh, like I. I do neither, and people get so mad. When I sit down at the table, don't play Lucky Ladies. Don't play oh, Lucky Ladies. Lucky Ladies stupid. sucks. But there is, like, I like the prop bets at, like, in Vegas. That was, like, the free bet with the free bet or Buster Blackjack's another good one. I like yeah. with how many cards the dealer busts with. Yeah. I hate uh, Lucky yeah. Ladies, though. Lucky Ladies is just such a scam. Well, I, I kept getting <laughs> 20s, and they're like, dude, bet Lucky Ladies. I was like, dude, as soon as I fucking bet this, I'm going to yeah, lose. Well, 20s, be, yeah. it, that's the thing, money even away. 20s is only 4 to 1 payout, so it's like that only What's covers you right. it covers you for literally no, 4 I, bets I, that you don't hit it. I'm How just often saying, do you hit in 20? Yeah, yeah. Like, 20. I'm but just then, saying, no matter what, I never yeah. play side bets, ever. Yeah. But the one problem is, like, I... I've... The worst that I've seen that I missed was a 25 to 1 on Lucky Ladies, if I did ever get the two Queen of Hearts, I'd probably tear up a little bit because it's like <laughs> I play it occasionally when I'm like when I think the the deck's about to get hot or like I'm seeing it, <laughs> yeah. And I'm sometimes the okay yeah, predicting it, yeah, but the two Queen of Hearts, I think, I think it pays two hundred to one. <laughs> 
That's crazy. So two hundred to one on a five dollar bet would be a grand. Yeah. So yeah. So Mikey, Mikey. When I when I see the six deck auto shuffler getting hot, I just yeah. Just dude. Have, I have yeah think how many like. face cards are in there, bro? <laughs> it's, it's, There's so many face it's, cards. It's okay, because you know they're all gonna laugh at me for playing this progressive. When I hit the royal flush on a flop and get paid seven hundred thousand dollars, you'll be sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, they gonna, shuffle every time. I might, I might be even on the progressive bet after the seven hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Play, You're gonna be down play for the before next, that happens. Play for the next it's ten years. Go Tell me how how often you are. Like, yeah. Yeah. How often do you see it? No, dude, that's my worst fear is flopping the fucking royal flush. Not I, I want. That's I would, what I mean. Is like would you cry. Would cry. Yeah. It's yeah, like I, I watched a, I watched a guy hit four of a kind on the progressive and it paid out like five grand. Holy I hit every God, one of them. It's like four of a kind. Like, no, not the progressive, but like the, the things that you get where it's like, oh, you got a straight. Oh, you got a flush. Oh, you got, yeah. Like I didn't bet on any of that, so it didn't matter. Yeah. I like Ultimate Texas on them, though, because you have to play the ante, which yeah. gives you a little bit of a bonus. Like if you hit a royal flush, it's like what? It's yeah. 100 to 1 or 500 to 1 or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's so 50, you, 50 to 1 on 50 the normal. To one, yeah, yeah the on the normal. But so then on even trips, it's another fi- uh, yeah, 100 you, to 1 or something like that. Right, it's like right, the, right, right, 100%. So... But Just they, playing, you have the bonus. A decent yeah. chance. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like normal, though. Yeah. I hit 2K on my FanDuel account just, uh, just a little bit ago. I don't know how you do it. Playing, because honestly, playing the casino. That's disgusting. It's, honestly, it's terrible because you I just sit in bed and yeah. cookies on your stomach and yeah. fucking <laughs> rolling. <laughs> Is it Oreo or Chips Ahoy? I won. Chips Ahoy, bro. I found I, vanilla fingers. I found my favorite casino game. What? I, I, I couldn't tell you what it's called, but. Oh, is it a slot? Yeah. Oh, God. You're just full D-Gen? Are you kidding that, me? Dude, that's I... That's scary. I want <laughs> full D-Gen now. Bro, I want 800 bucks. I don't want to spend. Jesus Christ, it, John. You sound... You, yeah, no. Bro, it's, it was bad. Know. Yeah, that's horrible, bro. I, I haven't played since. You I, went through 7K. Yeah, yeah I haven't played since because I know... We're going to have to delete this episode for their spouses. I'm I, I am, I am <laughs> all right. I'm thankful the slot bug does not bite me at all. I uh, hate slots. Same. I don't like them. Yeah. Hate I'd rather, I'd rather you look me in the eyes while you take my money, <laughs> not some computer to do it. Yeah, I know. 100% yeah. slots Oppenheimer's are Oppenheimer's going to get a 96 and be like, yeah, you could take that cheeseburger or I show Miranda this episode. <laughs> She already probably knows. <laughs> uh, so no. I, yeah, it's uh, one of those. It's just a regular slot game where like you can get free games, and so yeah. you yeah. can also just pay for the free games if you want. Like so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so oh. hear me out. Hear me out. So you can no, get no, no, no. Hear me out. Paid hear me out. Are hear you on a roll bit? Is that what's going on? <laughs> what no. the website? Oh, no. you know what it is? No. Uh, no. So hear me out. It's no. like this scam crypto fucking <laughs> website. No, no, Dude, no, the no. website. like, and you can pay for the free stuff. It's like, uh, what? yeah. No, listen, 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 listen. It, it listen. sounded like a little bit like the rocket game. Where yeah, like it, yeah, it blows up oh, for you. Yeah, the cash so, out. All right, all right. Go so ahead. if you are like betting a dollar per spin, they offer you an option to pay fifty to get free spins. It's eight free spins, and it stacks. Like as it spins, like you get like wild pieces, it stacks up. And additional right. spins and everything. Yeah. No, no, you can't get additional spins on 50, this one. Fifty dollars or fifty cents. Fifty dollars. But you're in the uh, bonus, like it's like the multipliers. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so you get that, and then, but what happened to me when I got eight hundred is I won twelve spins because I got a fourth free spin item randomly. It just came up in my spins. Instead of me getting three, I got four, and then I had twelve spins, which I turned into. Eight hundred dollars. But see, you, th- what you need to do now Cash is out. go and find what the odds of you exactly what you just described. Yeah, what are those odds? Probably very, very small. And then you realize that you're never hitting that. Again. Never hitting it. They again. paid you nothing. Yeah, yeah right. For, for doing right. that. Yeah. Why well, also that that spin was two hundred dollars, <laughs> and you made eight. Yeah. Well, it's not like putting two and getting six. So. Okay, all right. Yeah, did you hear about that? So I was at the Meadows. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> uh, um, anyway, so when we go bet on horses, horse racing, I don't know if you guys know this, works a little bit differently than sports betting, where the lines will change up until the race starts. Yeah. So okay. your odds will change. even if. So if I place it five minutes before and the line changes, yeah. my line changes. Oh, like as you – like your bet's not set. Bet is not set. No matter when you set, when when you pay, that's so. gotta be in person because I did a, I did Vandal horse racing because for the Derby they were offering some shit, and I, I was also mad about this because you got like you put in twenty and you got like twenty back in free bets. I didn't read the fine print. It was like uh, free bets in horse racing, and I was like, 
What the fuck? I don't, but a horse <laughs> racing is just stupid. So nobody reads here, I guess. Nobody, well, well you see, this read. is the problem. He never saw Peaky Blinders yet, so he doesn't know about how I, race horse races are fixed all the time. <laughs> I, I watched Peaky Blinders. You did? Yeah, they yeah. curse the horse. They blow the powder and mm-hmm. you finished it. You, uh, no, you watched one it. episode. If you just no, I got that. to the Russian arc, no, I, and then I, they were oh. all fucking, and I was like, "What is happening?" That was right the now? second season early on, so you Bro, third season. Oh, so you never got to the Italians yeah, either. Come on, that's the next season, probably right? Yeah, yeah. the yeah. Russians is the third season. I'm almost done with that. The orgy is in it's the back little, half of the third season it's because it's scarred in my brain. I don't remember painful. that. No, I, I remember it. It's the and then they're the appraising the diamonds underground. Yeah, the jewels and the uh, Alfie <laughs> Alfie Solomon's and okay, it's so weird, dude. How many seasons are there of that? Six, so four, five, six, six. So it'd be six because uh, yeah, one after they. So what was season think. two? Season Sabini. Uh, Sabini. That's yeah, what Sabini, yeah, Sabini. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. No, I, I got. That's no. when they got into the horse racing. Shit. No, they got it yeah, into season, season one, but season, season one. two was a continuation of one where they yeah. were heavy into horse racing at first. Uh, you know, you know how we have our thing where we're burning hours on each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah mm-hmm. So that was that was one of those things. Is that he had to get to Alfie? And then I don't see it. I don't see it. Carrot. Oh, oh, the last the last season's so good. You were just hoping he's going to keep going. He's going to burn hours on it. Yeah, well, I was like, oh, yeah, he'll, he'll he get hooked by hooked, then, yeah. and then was like, I was I was in. I was like, oh, this is really cool. And then the Russian arc is not good. Sex stuff happened, and he was like, it gets better. It, it, you're, no, you're, I'm you're, sure. in the, you're in the middle of it where it's a bit slow, but that season. Everyone I've talked to better. said that that season is not great. It's not. Uh, is there a TV show that it's has not my favorite season? But every it's good. season is perfect. Breaking Bad. No, a hundred percent. That's not name true. a bad season. One. <laughs> oh, okay. The first the Ooh, half of one a, is half of take. one is okay. not good. It's a hot okay. take. The first half of one is not good. Okay. I'm sorry. Huh. It literally takes like half the season before it finally is like, oh, this is starting to get good now. Okay. That's actually a, a pretty good... Until the tub falls through the ceiling. Spoiler, Jesus. Yeah, but that, that's isn't that spoiler. like... That's not really a spoiler. Huge spoiler. Episode spoiler. four? Okay, can I get a quick poll real quick here? You don't know why the tub fell. I mean, I didn't spoil any of that. I'm just saying... Because he didn't buy the fucking plastic, bro. <laughs> just listen to the guy. Spoiler, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so if someone says there's a time skip in a show, is that a spoiler? Yeah. Depends. Yeah. Seriously? Could yeah. be. Like yeah. a flash yeah. forward type here. thing? All you say is, like, someone asked me, where am I at? And I said, after the time skip. You did uh, that for uh, House of Dragon, didn't you? No. It was a video game. Oh. So that's a spoiler. Probably. I, I would I would assume so. What information do you glean from there? That the characters are older? <laughs> yeah, well, for instance, if you're looking at uh, Fire Emblem, that's part of it, right? Yeah. And that got ruined. How did how does that ruin it? Because I assume that's like a oh cool like now it's, it skips forward you see how everything's going and everything but like if you haven't played it yet that, that part was ruined where it's like that that cool any here, here's the thing if you talk about anything and this is ironic because I want to talk about Indiana Jones but if you talk about anything in one way or another you're spoiling something you're spoiling something if people know before going into it's true whatever it is it's true time skip like anything. Like, I, I feel like that's just like, and the thing that bugs me is, oh, well, this is in the first five minutes of the thing. Yeah, that first five minutes could have been really cool. It's like, ah, oh, Han Solo dies in the first 10 minutes of Star Wars. You know, but cool, but like, yeah. Okay, you but just it, ruined it was, that 10 minutes for me. Yeah. I will say this it was in the trailers, though. Yeah, but there are people that do blackouts. All right, I don't care, though. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, <laughs> if you don't care, then it's a moot point. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to be right. Bruce Willis is dead the whole time. I mean, like, that's the classic, right? It's I don't not, think it's so. It's not the worst spoil. I mean, he takes out the Russian guy. Are you talking about Final Fantasy? I'm talking about Die Hard, but yeah. Oh, okay. There's levels of spoiling. I don't Bruce think that's Willis. the worst one. Die Hard. Yeah, yeah, he's not dead yeah, the whole time. Yeah, but doing House of Dragons is still, like, a, <laughs> even a spoiler. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's unfortunately. Well, sorry, I spoiled House of Dragon. Yeah, was that good? I didn't watch it. It was better than the Lord of the Rings for half the what price. A, what a travesty. <laughs> I thought HBO sure. was like 200 mil yeah, versus yeah, yeah. like 500 mil. Or I thought something. HBO was doing uh, Lord of the Rings. I was wrong. No, Amazon. Nope. Yeah. That's why it's bad. Yeah. There's still a writer strike, isn't there? Uh, uh, now there's an actor strike, strike and too. actor strike. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I just started. Can't have a show yesterday? like that. What are the actors well, striking for? They make I fucking think, millions. So, yeah, whatever. Two they make two million. I guess, dude. I don't know. Better conditions? What conditions? I don't know. I'm not an actor, man. What are they? What are they striking for? I think it's all coming down to uh, revenue share. Yeah, and streaming. how much? How much are the bosses yeah. oh getting versus? Yeah, because it's like when they make these movies, like for that ultimate go to HBO or Netflix and stuff. It's yeah. like 
Netflix makes the, money from they're keeping they're keeping all the split that they're getting from Netflix, mm. HBO. Jennifer Hale threw out a 399 to 1 <laughs> ratio. Oh, wow. That's Jesus. what it is. I, oh, that's what she put out. I didn't read into it, so who knows if Jesus. that's accurate or not. Mm. But th- she w- it gave like a timeline of it used to be like 2 to 1 or whatever. And then throughout the years, now it's like See, 399 it's, to 1. I, I don't think... To the companies, you mean? Like, to the producing companies? To the the highest, like, the like, leadership of whatever. So, like, what's the director's split of that, like, share? I, she gave a little infographic. Because in, I feel like, like the, like, the directors, like, actors, sure, should get a cut of it. I, should it be a massive cut of it? I'm not as much as, like, a director's cut for, like, it's your work. Like, yeah. so, like, that's, Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, Interesting. Who, who are these actors that are striking? Is it, like... A-list celebrities. It's I mean, it the, literally the everybody. Actors Guild. Yeah, it's like the, the main. Guild, you have a yeah, that's like everybody. See, I have a big problem with that. Even like enough fucking money from even Marvel. Kind of thing, so. What was the guy who was? Uh, oh, what's his name? Was it Don Cheadle who said it? Where it was like Samuel L. Jackson. He's like, what are they going to make uh, Avengers with fucking YouTubers or something like that? <laughs> oh my <laughs> see that? Nice. I have a problem with that. No, too. but like it was, it was a fair point. It was like why, yeah, why they should point. pay. I don't think it was Logan Don Paul, Chill. Captain America. Who else was it? I, I, it was somebody in the Marvel Bruce. universe. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. It was a funny comment. I laughed. Like I was like, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty. I mean, it's pretty funny. Logan Paul starring as Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> I just have an issue He's with. Cap. I have an issue He'd with Cap. Like, yeah. The America. rich, essentially, being KSI, like, KSI Black Panther. Panther. <laughs> Everybody knows how socialist you are yeah, as far maybe. as the rich. Yeah, and, okay. yeah. Huh? John I, doesn't like the rich people. Why are we not. gambling, then? Why am I gambling? Yeah, we're trying to get rich. <laughs> Speaking of rich and well, hidden I'll things. I'll hate myself and I'm rich. It's I'd fine. Say, all right. I already <laughs> hate myself. You know what's a, you know what's a <laughs> dangerous rich. app? The Apple Store app. Because you me. can buy anything you want, and if you have an Apple card, it gets delivered within like two hours. Like somebody drives from the Apple Store courier, no it's nine bucks, and they just hand it to That's you. That's so good for you. So I was like, "Oh, is Apple Card worth it?" I like my yeah. Apple Card a lot. Yeah. I was thinking about getting one. Can, yeah, I, it's it's not as good as like a Discover bonus yeah. wise, yeah. but the interface is really good. And, well, you uh, also you also get um, <laughs> like no interest on Apple purchases. Yeah. So when you buy an Apple, like an iPhone, yeah. you buy from the Apple Store. Well, that's why it's mm-hmm. dangerous. So I bought yeah. a, a Mac Studio, like the like the little like Mac Mini guy. Oh, so, so business is good, huh? Business, yeah, business <laughs> is good. Uh, I'm returning it tomorrow, but okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, I, it just it was here in like two hours. Yeah. Well, we bought Lindsay's MacBook on her Apple Card because it was like zero percent for 12, yeah, but it's months. they put it behind it, so it's like that's gone from your available balance. Yeah, but it's just it's hidden, gone, and then they'll just charge your card like yeah. hundred bucks a month or, or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's so unintrusive that it's like dangerous because yeah. i'm like oh, i got this max studio i could probably get this mod you know how much an apple monitor is oh it's uh, insane sixteen hundred dollars yeah whoa 60 frames like it's 60 hertz jesus not oled jesus i was uh, wow do you know Why? how much you have to pay if you want a stand that can move up and down not rotate or swivel just up and down 400 400 for that i was uh blown away by the imac prices Ew. when i saw yeah, them yeah imac well uh, but it's a 5k screen so the pro- like the argument they have is if you want a mac specific 5k screen that scales well for apple products there's two of them out there. <laughs> there's this one, <laughs> and there's the LG Ultra Fine, which is like 15 years old. Is it isn't like the iMac Pro like six grand or something like that starting? It uh, the iMac Pro. So the, the iMacs, I don't think, because the new ones are are still not upgraded yet. It's so like an old school one. Yes, the problem is any of their new silicon can just uh, trounce yeah. that. What was the What was the new one that they were just announcing with the Vision Pro? Did you guys talk about the Vision Pro, by the way? We didn't really talk about the Vision Pro. The VR system is, yeah, five grand. Yeah, yeah that's I, I think it was crazy. the Mac, Mac, the new. There, there's a Mac Pro. IMac Pro. Yeah, Mac Pro. Well, it's not an iMac, so it's just the tower. And yeah. the problem is the tower that you get is the exact same as the studio that I just bought that's like half the size. Mm-hmm. So the only reason why you would want the tower is if you want like PCIe slots and, and all of that jazz, but like. Yeah. You can't do anything with it. Yeah, right. So it's, it's like it's, it's, it's I don't locked know. Apple, it's just so it's, it's crazy. And so, for instance, you get the th- you get the the stand that's just a tilt. Yeah. That's sixteen hundred dollars. You get the stand that that goes up and down. That's two grand because it's an extra four hundred. Yeah. Guess how much it is if you don't want the stand and you just want the vase amount. Two hundred twenty-four. Sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah. That's the exact. Yeah. So Wait, if what? You, if you don't yeah. want the stand 
for oh, this oh, for see. this monitor. Yeah. Oh my god! They sell you it without the SAN. Yeah, the same for price. the same price. That's fucking stupid. So then, why do you guys buy Apple? Shit? <laughs> because well, the, the dude, it's just the, the color wise and everything is just so yeah, good. Yeah, it's too good. Is there hooked? IPhones You're the problem. <laughs> yeah, I, look, I'm on the iPhone train, but. Wow, Listen, that's I'll be fucking crazy. I'll be a PC race forever, but yeah, I you mean, don't have an iPhone, right? I have an iPhone, yeah. But you're, but you're also, <laughs> to be fair, like <laughs> Apple computers are more for the creative type, like Tyler, anyway. And so, design creative? so yes, so but creative? here's the problem. You said I'm not no, no, you but that? like you're not you're designing. Not? Like you said, I'm not creative. What you said <laughs> you play slots. You're not I was, creative. I was doing. I was doing the podcast. <laughs> I was trying a new workflow and everything, but I was exporting it. Last week's podcast, two and a half hours. It was a lengthy one, right? So it's like a pretty big thing. And when I was going through and I put it on the Mac, it was going at maybe between 15 and 20 times the speed, like exporting mm. it, that we did to record it. Mm. My PC, 80 times. <laughs> and it's just yeah, like, what can you, like, would, yeah, yeah, like it, I can't, you, yeah. I can't justify it. So yeah. I don't know, it's going back, but I, I might buy that monitor. Why would you buy I love GarageBand though. Yeah, well, I bought Logic Pro too because I thought so that'd good. be better. And but it's GarageBand's so good, dude. So Don't, tell me you, I'm wrong. Why would no, you buy you're the not. New, I, why would you buy the VR when you can buy the Oculus for three hundred? Oh, because their VR is so much better, dude. Why would you buy what VR when you could buy a Toyota Supra? Their VR, because we didn't talk about this, but their <laughs> VR takes a picture of your face, scans it. So if you if I'm in VR world, right? Mm-hmm. I'm watching porn. I'm sitting here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As you, as wait, you what's that? What is, is, is that a game? Yeah, it's a game. And Activision? you come and sit down next to me, the the headset detects you, uh, detects you, <laughs> scans my face, projects my face so it looks like you can see through the goggles, That's but it's actually weird, dude. <laughs> yeah, but it's actually a screen. So your pants are down, your hands are on he, your. He's not your, even telling you the you best part. You just see his eyes fucking glazed over. Imagine you're wearing the goggles. You're looking at porn. <laughs> And your mother or <laughs> girlfriend or wife suddenly comes into frame for you. Yeah, so if they get close, <laughs> they fade in. <laughs> so they join the porn? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, <laughs> yes, they come into the frame. Oh, so you would man. have no idea until they're in frame. This yeah, is going to be a lost episode, dude. It's not, it's it's not dude. That's terrible. Uh, so you, how much you would you pay for this? 5000 That's 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 5, yeah, for that experience? 99 is the wow. asking price. I don't want it for the experience. It's cool because... <laughs> that was your selling point. Yes. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I was just trying to set hard, the, hard the thing. A lot Why of is it, Harbin sitting next to you when you're jerking off? <laughs> that's <laughs> like when I'm trying to rock my brain. Look, man, a lot of it is the the virtual or the augmented reality part of it. <laughs> I, I, like, I, literally, I literally thought he was about it. It's about the camaraderie. <laughs> it's about the, the camaraderie more than anything. Listen, we're we'll just sitting next to each other with the VR goggles on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wow. We'll watch different. Watch different things. We both like different things. Uh, so we'll just, yeah. You'll both have VR on. And we'll both watch different different stuff. Oh, Don't worry, beautiful. people. That's on a different episode. That is. <laughs> So if you're that's both if you're both in VR, can you be in the same room? In I, VR? That's all based off software, but yeah, you can. Yeah, you sure. Okay. Right, yeah. Wow. But you could connect. Well, they, yeah. The whole thing is like that. Sh- theoretically, I mean, this is obviously Gen One, but what Apple does is they wait years before getting into the market, yeah. and then it's like, oh, this is the Apple way of doing it. Yeah, right. right. A lot of the times it's really good. Look at the iPhone. Right. A lot of the times it's like, what are you doing? Where that i or the that screen, you can't. Take the power cord out, <laughs> stuff like so, that. So hold on, hold on. Hold but the on. Let's, let's, let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. So in a technology world where you know you work on technology and stuff like that, if something happens to that power cable, yeah, which happens, you can you can uh, buy enough a times. peripheral to hold it. It wedges perfectly in there, and it it's like a, it's not a crank, but it's like this automated thing. It takes it out for it, you. It pulls it out for you. <laughs> And that probably with costs, enough force. That probably costs hundred pretty. Right. I thought right. you were motioning, and I thought it comes with a saw. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Just cut through the fucking wire for, for five. Well, dude, the, the Apple the, the, comes the, take care of it for you. It, yeah, that's right. the, this is the low end oh, one. God. It's five grand for their high end monitor that doesn't even come with a stand, and you pay a grand if you want the stand for is it. Is that modular? <laughs> that's modular. Yeah, it, it, oh, okay. that actually has a lock mechanism oh, where it, okay. it comes with Vesa. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, because they don't give you a stand for it. Yeah, so people, know, yeah. Do people buy this shit? 
Yes, hundred percent. Yeah, wow. people yes. will buy will buy the That's you, Look, yeah, I don't want to get all, all nerdy and technical and stuff, but Apple works off of a fourteen forty p scaling resolution, which means that their five K monitors are the only ones that do it correctly. If I put my MacBook on a four K monitor and you scroll, it essentially like smears stuff. Mm. And you'll Is see it because it, it has like, to be like divisible? It has to be divisible. Yeah. Oh, is this the eight okay. thing? <laughs> is this so eight? Oddly enough, eight? Uh, it's a design it's number. The, it's the know. same thing, but no. It's a different That's number. It's a different it, number. But yeah. uh, what would it be? Is they it they have 30s? weird resolutions where it's like 16 by 10 and, right, and stuff right. like that. Yeah. That's so. I'm kind of. I can hang. I can hang. Yeah, you can hang. <laughs> this is the part of the podcast where Tyler gets to have fun. Uh, yeah, no, this is I, a couple, it, couple more trips to the Meadows Casino. You get four Division Pro. <laughs> I need, I need those, I need those uh, goggles so yeah. that it looks like I'm paying attention when he's talking about this stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe yeah. get the get the AI stuff that but really have uh, porn on in the back. Your, your eyes looking. <laughs> My eyes are just like. Oh, man. <laughs> do they hold on? Hold on. They probably do. They probably pair through Apple your AirPods, right? The the VR headset? No, th- no I think, think they, they had built, built in. in. Yeah, yeah, it's built in. Oh, really? It, but it pairs yeah. with everything. The, the idea, in, they just kind of finished that thought. Like it, the idea is this replaces your TV, your computer, your everything. You put that on, and now it's like, sure. Here's the TV. This when, is, when it when it makes the hundred inch TV on the in the, it is cool. Yeah, I mean, look like, at that wall. That entire yeah. wall. But the is only now problem is like it's solo though. Cool. Like that's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like it's the you. perfect thing if you were living alone. Alone, yeah. But you could never like, hey, let's watch a movie together, Chelsea, and then like, oh, let me get two. <laughs> Like two hours yeah. <laughs> but but how is that any different God. than than us each having a phone? You know, before it, like That's back true. in the day, it was like completely you cut have, off from the person. Yeah, you're like your senses. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, not really, because you can still put it augmented reality. You're still looking all around. So what this the does? Audio. Yeah, but you can still you could do pass. Enjoy Apple Discord. has the best pass through for, for yeah. that kind of stuff. You yeah, Discord <laughs> next to each other. Well, no, like if you have AirPod <laughs> Pros and you put the pass through on, it's yeah, yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah. Like oh, you can noise, still listen. Their noise to it. canceling is right. also very it, good. exactly. Yeah, so too. like yeah. there are options. Again, this is the first iteration. Do I think it's going to replace the yeah. television? No. But looking at the iPhone, hmm. every person has a phone, one way or the other. Right. But my only point with that though is like. Apple was the first to do the smartphone. They were the first to do the tablet. It's, it, this isn't like Apple's normal shtick where it's like, oh, we're first to market on something like this. Yeah, but this, this is, is just a This is version. more augmented reality yeah. than it is necessarily virtual reality. So they, in some they, ways, they, they, they are first, first to market. Yeah, theoretically. Yeah. Yeah, whatever happened to Lens, Microsoft Lens or whatever? Yeah, with yeah. Like, with like the little <laughs> yeah, viewport yeah, that you can look in. Died. It's just, like, yeah. So they, they took a lot of that R&D and butt blizzard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. dude. Google <laughs> so, Glass is the same idea. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I remember that. Google Glass so too. dumb. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah. So and you're just going to have a waited. house with blank walls. That's, it's it's possible. possible. I'm, I'm not saying that's, that's the way to do it. He's going to save his money and buy a house in the metaverse. Yeah, maybe <laughs> your house will be the fucking goggles. <laughs> it, that's so funny to me. Like, <laughs> but have a, you're having a party and you're like, okay, everyone, just... Bring either bring your goggles or I have a couple extra. Yeah, well, everyone's just no, but staring, <laughs> staring in a corner. If anybody was going to have a couple extra Apple Vision Pros, it'd be Tyler. It would be Tyler. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, years from now, when they are literally glasses that you put on and it's fine, Maybe everybody's like, going to have it's like no different than like sunglasses. Apple contact lenses. <laughs> yeah, but, but I that's, do agree. that's where we can get there. Like, I would never lay anything in my eyes. I agree, so that the uh, neither the, would I. I'm not a contact yeah, guy, but neither. the obvious problem is the price point. Oh, 100%. Who, who can spend five grand on fucking the same people buying a $1,600 monitor? It's 3500 sure. it's I thought. No, it's no, $4,999. $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4,
bring that down. No, you're right. It's only the beginning of it. Yeah. Yeah. Can see, mm-hmm. once it comes down, it'd be more attainable. But even th- even at a thirty five hundred dollar price point, it's a basic level. Like maybe ten percent of people can. Really it has make. to be a life changing experience, yeah. right? Like it has to yeah. actually work right. really well. Right. Like they were showing, like they were they were making a point to like lounging on a couch, and you're just kind of like you're not. Now, if you're with Quest, you have to like hold your hands in a weird way, like you're yeah. feeling wet bags of sand, and you're just kind of like pinching things and doing. Diff- that was a forty year old version. Yeah, yeah, I got anyway, it. Okay, no, I got perfect. it. Yeah, yeah. But you're you're kind of like you're like pinching and doing different stuff. But with the Apple one, they were like lounging and like doing really mm. subtle motions to just kind of interact with it, and That's it cool. tracks your eyes way better and stuff like that. So it's like if they get all of that right, yeah, That's awesome. Good. That's great. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm uh, excited to to see reviews for it. The movie's too old for you. You never even you never saw a four year old version. No. Wow. I'm telling okay. you. Okay. When did it come out? Oh five. Oh five. Oh uh, six. Oh four. It was, it was the golden era of comedy yeah. in the early two thousand. Yeah. That was when Steve Carell was like, I can act too. I I've seen bits and pieces of it because it's so legendary. It was one yeah, of the I've older ones. It. Like it would have been like I would guess oh four or five. But yeah, I think it's oh four or five. Oh four. Speaking well, of legendary, just because we we're gonna f- kind of fly through this. People should go see Indiana Jones, Dial of Destiny. Destiny. Yeah. (laughs) It was good. It harkened back to the other movies. I think it was largely well-paced. I think it lagged a little bit in the middle, but I think if you go back and look at the movies, a lot of them did, where it's like the exposition of like, okay, what are you going to go steal type Mm -hmm. of thing? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, claim back or get for a museum. Um, The AI, uh, whatchamacallit, like de-aging is insane. Like insane, like it's still a little bit uncanny valley, but to see a young Harrison Ford, which he was in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of wild. I think the only thing I didn't like is they did not de-age his voice, so it's very much old Harrison uh, Ford uh, talking in a young Harrison yeah, Ford yeah. body. That took me out of it. That's weird. But That's other than weird. that, you, I thought it was good. You say it's in the trailer. I don't remember seeing a de-aged <laughs> version of him in the trailer. Understand when he's right, like, riding what? the horse in the trailer. He looks yeah, young. Maybe, yeah. yeah oh, they kept flashing between the two and yeah. stuff. And yeah, yeah. You would think that with the Dial of Destiny, it would be a lot more of that. And I was worried that it was just going to be like flashing back to young Harrison Ford and old and young and old. Yeah. They do a very good job. I think it's a little ironic that the last movie, the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, they were doing old Harrison Ford jokes back then, yeah. <laughs> which was like 10 years ago. Yeah. It's now like, he's very old. Do you think he's done with that series? Like that's his last one? Yeah, I, I think that was the whole point. Was yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. I think <laughs> oh. maybe watch the movie oh, and okay. find out. They, they they announced it long before. Uh, okay. Too, that that was okay. the last yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, and it it is worth mentioning that all of the movies are canon. So I know there was some back and forth of like, are they just gonna wipe out the last movie? Like everything yeah. is. That's this is his arc. It's five movie story. Is he? He's gonna focus on shrinking. So. I hope so. Did you watch the, how that worked where um, the guy that plays Roy Kent, who's the writer of yeah. Shrinking? Didn't know that until I like, started yeah. reviewing the show and I was like, what? Yeah, he, he yeah. got a call from him and Harrison Ford was like, hey, come over and have dinner with me. Yeah. And they were like, you have to close this deal. It's super important and everything. He was in London and he just did it. Walked over and was like, oh, you like Shrinking? And he's like, you want to be in it? And Harrison Ford was like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like that was it. He's <laughs> like it's That's the easiest awesome. thing ever. And I was That's like, okay, so cool. Good. It's such so a good show. He said it was like the best written. Yeah. Stuff. I mean, he did he he wrote a little bit of Ted Lasso, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was yeah. one of the key writers yeah. in Ted Lasso. Yeah. So, I mean, him Beard and him Jason Beard and all, and yeah, all so wrote it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he sent them the video of like, I'm a Roy Kent. Here's here's like an addition for it or whatever. <laughs> I w- I will say uh, Harrison Ford actually cared about Indiana Jones. Like, it makes it seem like he cares about Indiana Jones where maybe he doesn't care about Han Solo. Yeah. He doesn't give a shit about Han Solo. Yeah. So, like, when Han Solo, he kind of phoned it in on episode seven, this one, it was like, this is Harif- Harrison Ford in his prime. Like, he, this and Shrinking have made me, like, really a big Harrison Ford fan. So yeah, he was great. Speaking of other Apple TV shows, did any of you watch Silo? Not yet, no. Okay, never mind. We'll table that for a different date. <laughs> After Party is uh, season two. Yeah, we're going through house right now. We're on season five. <laughs> Still um, in house? Yeah. I guess there's like a million Ten seasons. And of it's it. it's uh, a syndicated twenty episodes per season type of Jeez. Milked that one. Yeah. I forget I can't remember. I was I just watched something that he was He Laurie? In the main actor of House. Yeah. He yeah, Laurie. I don't know. I never really watched it. Um I forget what it was. It was a 
old movie or old TV show. That nah, doesn't matter. I lost. Was it. he CIA ang- agent? He was in like red so. or some weird. He weird was a thing. doctor. And, he was uh, a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, the fact that he is British and you don't like most people don't know that just from him being in house and like talking like that. He was it's those British for... actors. They're just built different. Yeah. yeah why are they better, better at doing American yeah, accents? They're, they're, they're just not... so good at everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll find it. Like Tom was... Holland's Queen's accent is better than. And he just like go, like just turns it on and off randomly. Yeah, it's so yeah. crazy. Yeah. What was it? it was, uh, maybe it was. Um... There was some movie where he just pulled up in a car randomly and was like a CIA agent that talked in an American accent. Hugh Laurie. Oh. He was just in a random movie. I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, I think I watched the movie because I knew Did he you? was in it and he was in it for like. 60 seconds. <laughs> and then you turn the movie off. I was like, no, I finished. I can't turn a movie off. I can. It's pretty you can fall asleep movie. during them. Well, I could fall asleep. The only movie I've ever turned off was Birds of Prey. It's pretty easy. The Harlequin to, movie. You really? Pa- yeah. You hit pause. Over Freddy Got Fingered. You hit pause. I, well, you Freddy Got Fingered, I had to watch all the way through. And <laughs> yeah, but not one it sitting. It was miserable. <laughs> also, I played uh, Henry Stegman. That's cool. It's you cool. like it? Yeah, it was cool. I finished it. Like uh, I through it, yeah. Super I have easy. not even touched Odyssey, bro. Yeah. What an unbalanced it's not request. A, it's not a balanced thing. So you, play, so you liked it? I liked it. Did you Did ever you play, play the Henry Stickman, like the Flash game? No. Make like choices You're and like stuff like that? You're like my age. You should know this stuff. Yeah. Stick Stick.com. Uh, forget oh. what it's called. It's like a little Flash game, and oh, it's like, hey, hey I'm, yeah, I'm, breaking, stick, I'm stick breaking page? into stick a page. Stickman. What do I use? And it's like yeah. six options do or whatever. You, you remember that website? Yeah. Where it's like know, all it, stick figure games. Did, I, yeah, it yeah, didn't yeah, leave yeah. a lasting impression on me. Oh, it, was, it was it was so cool that I was like, why don't people make a good one of these? And and I say that lovingly in that like it's good, but like it's low production. It's just here's a flash game that people make. Like, why isn't that like a graphic novel, a, a game that's like, okay, every little thing, there's like a million different combinations and, and stuff like to like yeah. every little action counts and stuff yeah. like that could be super cool. I guess Telltale's similar, but Oh, by the way, extent. that guy made Among Us. Did he? Yep. That's awesome. That's yeah, cool. isn't that crazy? Yeah, that makes sense though, right? So you'll see uh, so he's, if you he's look at Among Us, some of, the, some of the maps have Henry Stickman <laughs> references. <laughs> cool. Yeah, okay. yeah. Super cool. I love that game. Yeah, it's, it was good. Weird. It's a good game. They've uh, actually, they've changed it a lot. They've added more stuff to it. Like Among Us, back, yeah, more maps, and we should play that again sometime. I'd like such a, a good party game, mm-hmm. but we're, nothing we're, will beat when that first came out, dude, and like the streamer craze. Yeah. Oh, well, how about do you, have you been watching uh, Only Up? People have been playing Only Up. Yeah. Yeah, that it, that's entertaining wild. to watch. Entertaining don't to think watch. I'd play that though. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> moist stole, critical. I've never just seen it. play that. You never Freaking, seen no. Only Up. Oh, I have no. Uh, I have no Tim's concept. Played played I think. I think it. Doc played it. Yeah. When yeah. you just watch it. It, what makes it for streamers is when they fall. Yeah. And it's just it's like hilarious. the amount of progress that you lose. It's yeah. like, uh, what was the game, the dude in the Getting barrel? over, yeah. With the sledgehammer. Getting over. Freddy. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah same mm-hmm. concept, except it's 3D. and It was like uh, six okay. bucks during the sale, I think. It was really cheap. It's the worst game I've ever seen. It's literally just free wow. assets yeah. fucking piled up <laughs> in the sky and you have to get to the moon. And it's like yeah. trying to teach you like a life lesson about like how you so just got to keep going. You just yeah. Just yeah. keep going. Yeah, yeah, but that getting over life or whatever it is with like the first one you're talking about with the dude in the pot, that I could like, all right, if you want to make an artistic thing, sure. But you can't steal someone else's artistic message and do the exact same game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the war. It's yeah. such. It's the most lazy game I've ever seen. Yeah. But it just caught fire. It yeah. Caught, it's just yeah. Once the streamers got a hold of it. Yep. So later. weird. That's it. That's it. Like Among Us is in VR now. Is it? Really? It's been in VR. Yeah. That's cool. It's been in VR. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. Damn. That's frightening, dude. Someone yeah, <laughs> sneaking up behind but you. But how bro. fun would that? A hundred percent. That'd be, awesome. that'd be sweet. I'd love that'd be that. Ter- that becomes a horror game quick. Yeah, real yeah. quick. You're just alone down a hall. I all your friends think, disappeared. I always think of the TikToks when you watch like the old guy run through the wall because he's playing on a on a VR headset. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. He can yeah, just run yeah. with the joystick. Oh, but Among Us in like first person VR is like like you said, it's terrifying. It terrifying, also like yeah. makes it way harder as a crewmate to try to figure out who's doing what. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my so god. Yeah. yeah. Because like, yeah. it's not like top down where right. you just yeah, see like yeah, oh yeah. there's a body over there. Like you literally have to like look in that corner. If, like, that would be. Like, you think it would be too hard as a crewmate at that point? Because I think it's possible. pretty nah, easy I, as a crewmate. I, yeah, I think it's, generally. I think it's harder in the base, but game. not like too much. Might be more swing. balanced. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be cool. 
Because you can't like yeah, wall peek or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Just do the third person. Yeah. yeah, you almost need three in the third person view. Three like and, bad guys. And you yeah, need, I you think need a right. group that knows like could plays it with fun note. Because like if everybody sticks together, it's like impossible for yeah. like people to do that. Like right. it. it the be- that game is at its best when everyone's just screaming at each other because nobody knows what the hell's going yeah. on. I think it'd be a great like, drinking game, right? Yeah. Because then it just yeah. gets... Yeah. People's strats get worse and worse <laughs> as the night goes yeah. on. And that's when it gets fun, when people don't optimize the game. That's yeah. what we do. We go to Meadows. We bet on racetracks. We go to the hotel and just play Among Us. Land party <laughs> Among Us? <laughs> oh, my God. That good. sounds like that's a fantastic. fun night. I love That'd it. Be good. Uh, anything? I know you want an event. Did you want to vent about uh, anything? No, work was just terrible this week. That's all. I'm Damn, sorry, dude. buddy. Yeah, it's all right. It's I want to vent. Awful. I want to vent. You want to vent? It's my turn. All right. Okay, League of Legends is a video game. All right, so we're not going to do Harry Potter if everyone's cool. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do we have? I'll be <laughs> just kidding. Five we're, minutes. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. All right. So John started playing League of Legends in 2015, right? You. Yes. You, John. Yeah. And I, I forgot we had another John. Jonathan. When he gets mad, he, uh, <laughs> he talks in a third person. <laughs> I'm fuming. So, oh my god. So I started watching like professional League of Legends, LCS, yeah. as they call it in North America, which is League Championship Series. And my favorite player is Doublelift. He's like one of the best AD carries in NA. Has been for like a decade. He's great. So anyways, any team he's on, I root for. So he retired like a couple years ago, but then he came back and I was super hyped. So he's playing for 100 Thieves. And this is why you have to go to Korea. Well, here's the thing. Okay, they're fucking terrible. This might be the worst fucking team I've ever seen in my life. Hunter Thieves? Yes. So he they're came back so to, bad. To, for nothing. He came back, and he was playing with Bjergsen, which is my other favorite player, the guy we were talking about yeah. who retired. So I was like, at the beginning of this year, I was so hyped. I was like, this is like my dream team, dude. This is like, uh, it harkens back to the, the glory days. Huh. Yeah. How does Natron allow that to happen? That what? would be so terrible. That's like having... It's, not, like, it's like a dream team. Jordan though. and LeBron on the same yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. It just doesn't work. Dude, it's so weird. Like the, well, It did work. No, since like, no since credit since for that? It did work. Yeah, the, dream, the dream team. Was a good one. Was or nice. the... Re- well, you, why did you say Jordan and LeBron? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they didn't play together. That's very good. I know, That's but I'm just good. saying. No, like I say I point where it just doesn't. Three points for Tyler because his mean, foot was behind the arc. Hey. I mean, Jordan's better than LeBron. Which Jordan but it's did fine, so. Jordan's better than LeBron? 100%. Are we actually doing that right now? We, mm. we, don't, we, don't, we don't have to, but I'm just I don't think out. so because there's like this stat there. I saw for LeBron with assists. He's so much higher than anyone else who's ever played the game of basketball. His, his longevity, his, his tenure yeah. is the best in the world is way longer than Jordan. Sure, so he played longer. But he Jordan also, also playing, played baseball. Yeah, but he's also playing against he was way shit. better competition. Way better. Uh, not on no, I, hate this, way I better. hate this argument. I wouldn't say way better. You always better. say that Babe Ruth's not the best baseball player of all time, but he is so clearly the best baseball player of all time. At no, this he point, is number one this point, in wins above replacement, which adjusts for the error that you're playing in. It adjusts for it. At this point, and he is so... Head and shoulders above anyone else in that category. The only one close is Mike Trout, who's well, an absolute. You, you give it a couple beast. more years. And me sh- f- you, you mean to tell me Shohei is not going to be? Uh, Shohei's going to be up there too. Baby. He's give a generational like, talent. Yeah. Give me five years. Shohei blows him out of the water. No, he doesn't. I can't believe that. He's I a thirty thirty under two a year a guy. What are you talking? About? I don't. Well, I don't know how to calculate uh, how for him. Wins above replacement, not better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to calculate that because wins above replacement for pitchers is different than. Non pitcher, right? Because so he does both. Wait, he's he's a rarity where he doesn't exist in the in the statistical ar- algorithm because he's a pitcher and a hitter. One hundred eighty three point one WAR. Who's that? Otani? Babe Ruth. One hundred eighty three. Who's the next highest? I think it's Trout. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Babe Ruth himself made the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> One person. Yeah, That's you, the most fucking insane thing I've ever heard in my life. You can't Wait, that was how do you have a wins above replacement of 180 if there's only 162 games in a season? That's how good he is. It's statistical. That's all. He wins another yeah. 18 games more that's than o- possible. That's overall. They just never lose over his N- whole career? Yeah. Oh. Uh, let me, but that, but he, he died baseball. in a plane crash, right? Like that, like It wasn't like Babe he Ruth? retired. Yeah. Babe Ruth did not no. die in a plane crash. No. That was Roberto that was, Clemente. That oh, know. that's who I'm thinking of. I have a Roberto, and Roy I have a Holiday? Roberto Clemente card. Roberto Clemente is also a really good baseball player, but not anywhere close to Babe Ruth. <laughs> it was holographic. Uh, actually, yeah, awesome. Trout's yeah, not even close. Awesome. I thought Trout was closer. I wasn't saying Trout's not that Okay, good. Babe Ruth. 
I feel like 182.6. Second place, Walter Johnson, 165.1. Not even close. Cy Young, third, 163.6. Jackie Robinson, was he yeah. number four? Oh, the best pitcher 42. of all time? 42. Yeah. 42? Yeah. Cy Young, yeah, was the best pitcher of all time. But he didn't bat, dude. Barry Bonds, four. Willie Mays, five. Ty Cobb, six. They're not even close to this Where guy. Are you, are you on Wikipedia for this time? No, I'm on uh, baseball, reference. baseball Reference. I pulled out the sports to, Barry Bonds to, number to one. get off of League of Legends. And it back- what are you talking about? <laughs> 162.8 war. Barry Bonds, number one. Then 162.2 Babe Ruth. What are you talking yeah, about? I'm literally Barry, looking at that. Except Barry Bonds shouldn't count. Position players. Position, position players win the bottom yeah, right? position yeah, players. Yeah, big fat cheater. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Career Bonds, leaders Bonds and Bonds the best hitter all time. Career leaders and records for war. He was a 30 players. 30 guy and he fucking ruined his career. Barry Hold Bonds, up. number one. He ruined it. I'm sorry. He ruined is his there legacy. A, is there an asterisk next to his name? Yeah, <laughs> probably. Ruined, that's why he's ruined, probably. Yeah. yeah he I ruined his legacy. Corrupt. He didn't ruin his career. He ruined his legacy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. Did you hit refresh? Oh, uh, did it just change? <laughs> apparently. He just lost fucking 30 <laughs> once Bob replaced it. Apparently, apparently, Barry Bonds is higher than Babe Ruth on my link. Google Bar- Babe Ruth war. Or maybe I did. it was the one sixty something that you or said. Maybe I got one sixty two point two there. there. What is happening? Barry Bonds is more. Can higher. someone get in on this? Can you Google this? Yeah, There's no <laughs> way I did this wrong. <laughs> You're looking for it's the second link. I said best war ever. Baseball. If the listeners at home want to join in on this, what what are they doing? I don't. Are you looking at single season leaders? No. You're, it I'm, says single. We season. have the same Look, career Bonds. leaders and records for war. Single season leaders and records for war. I did the career leaders. Career leaders has Barry Bonds. Career on leaders rec- and records wins above replacement. And look down is Barry Bonds first? Babe Ruth. Why, what, did you just disregard the steroid era in your search? Or <laughs> <laughs> no, Barry Bonds so, is fourth. Well, well, I'll, say, I'll say this. The Wikipedia article, which was the first link I got, you said you look at the second link. Mm-hmm. Not the Wikipedia is the end all be all, but Barry Bonds is fourth. Babe is Ruth this is not first. the same? Yeah, he has the same list as me. But this is a Wikipedia article. I, I cannot find what... The difference is, it, I know I no Mike has my, trouble my reading. Literally, but my literally, no, my, dude, <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me how that's different. I, I don't was, know. No, it's seriously the same shit. Yeah, it's the same link, same thing, right? Uh, His shows career, Babe Ruth first. Mine shows Barry Bonds first. For wait, what was it? Wins above replacement. So yours is war position players. His is wins above replacement. Yeah. Well, war diff- means different. no, no. It's a different wins above it's a replacement. Diff- but it's a different stat. It's a different page. It's a different page. Yeah, but what is a war? They're both position players. Above, they're it's both just, it's, above it's specifying that there's no pitchers in the yeah, war category for this one. So I wonder if that's why. Oh, because he pitched as well. Right. So, so sh- that makes yeah, sense. So he's like Shohei. So, Shohei will be but so far as, and above everyone else as well. As a hitter, so Ruth, Barry Bonds yeah. is better at, at a war rating than, that makes sense. than Babe Ruth is. Uh, that's Babe Ruth, how, like, sorry, Babe Ruth's top yeah. five. Do you My realize like, how, <laughs> how lucky we were to have like Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, Sam Sosa. That was the, era. the greatest we, era of baseball we, ever. Yeah. I mean, all taking steroids and cheating. Yeah, no, it's great. not even that. Like you could tell, not, tell me, baseball is more entertaining yeah, today. You could not pitch. than early two thousands. It's not, and here's why. I absolutely hate the pitch clock. I think the really. Pitch, I think the pitch clock it is all hinges ruined. On that. No, well, so if you're watching baseball, it's supposed to be a long game. Baseball is a game of like strategy and bubble gum. Like, Sure. See, I don't hear anybody uh, finish your thoughts on your cricket. Thought. <laughs> oh fuck! Well, yeah, pitches. Cricket's one inning. P- cricket's like five hours. Yeah, cricket could be that. days. Yeah. Cricket could be days. Yeah. Anyways, okay. So here's here's what doesn't make sense. But like, I agree with you. I'm a baseball purist when mm-hmm. it comes to that. It's a patient man's game for yeah. sure. I sounded like baseball, but you want know. automated strike zones. Of course, I do. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I want it to be right. That's everything. That's, that's that's what I want. I want I want the call to be right. I don't care. Like, look, where listen. do you fall on this? Automated. Because my argument is umpires have different zones, and that's part of the beauty of the game. Like, I, I yes, some umpires are shit, and that's I, a problem. I'm so, fine with that. I think you should be able to challenge balls and strikes or strikeouts. They're doing that in AAA. The problem is yeah, there's too, ma- should, there's too many of that. You can't, like, what do you give them, 100 challenges in a game? Yeah, you give one batter per game I would one, say. one one challenge batter, per batter yeah one challenge yeah per so it's per a, if it's okay. a call that's going to blow the game yeah. sure you can save it but here's the problem i have right okay so i would agree with you on a sense that where like, it's part of the game purity what all that blah, blah 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 the problem is there's a union in place where you can't replace terrible umpires that's, so if that's yes. the, if that's the pro- if that's you're going to stick to and you're going to keep the union in place and keep these piece of shit umpires out there then take away balls and strikes Dude, you're them. preaching to the choir bro right what so that's does an umpire do at that point 
he calls the guy out at home plate. Okay. What? He, calls, he calls a fair ball and a foul. He's a fucking umpire. He calls a foul ball. <laughs> That's the insult. He calls a foul <laughs> ball and a I, fair ball. I think the, the middle ground yeah, is yeah, no, you can challenge. hundred percent. You can challenge balls to strikes. I don't want that. Like that. It's so much I better than automated it's cool. like, uh, computer. Because like, that, so yeah, I would. Because then it, it gets rid of the art of framing. It yep. gets rid of all this. Sure, that, it gets like, rid of that. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's I hear so you much there. to that that I makes hear, it like not baseball. That. I hear all that. So, okay. So I'm, you're I saying baseball is the beauty of baseball is in its imperfections. Hundred percent. That's Not your guys' argument. Partially, but that's I my I argument. It's yes. like it, you, there's other arts to it, right? Like the art of framing and the like catching. The that's catching a great point. Is like like catchers now art, require so the much best less catchers skill. in the world are so good at that. Yeah. yeah so yeah. we're t- we're that's just great fine. Point. We're just fine with the defensive catcher batting a hundred. Yeah, I have an issue with that. How many defensive? What catchers do you mean? Have you seen what, that what, what is the problem with that? Days? Almost uh, all the catchers are offensive now. The Pirates catcher. Austin Hedges bats 170. Okay, well, that's the Pirates. The he's Pirates he's a defensive catcher. He is, he is known hey, for Hey, remember defense. when you took that bet that you said they were going to make the playoffs this year? They still might. <laughs> no, What's not. wrong with a defensive <laughs> catcher? I don't understand. I, in a game that preaches for offense, what's like, what, come on. That's, Let's put it this yeah, way. Yeah, but the catcher is the well, most important yeah. why, position. Why, why would you in want? In baseball. On, when it comes to the defense, 100%. Maybe anymore. Nah, they don't, they don't, don't call them. They don't stop. call balls and they don't call. Well, them pitch besides anymore. pitcher, obviously, right? They don't, they don't call oh, pitchers anymore. Stop. I think more important than catcher. I don't think so. I think so. so the catcher's don't. calling the game and, and positioning calling, the defense. Catcher's not calling the game. I think you'd be getting su- the instructions yeah. from the dugout. You'd be surprised at how many catchers don't call the game anymore. Yeah, that's no one, fair. No the call is still the call is told to you, and you put it into the fucking thing in your leg. But the guy motions to you and says, gives you a hand signal. So, See, technology should just be banned. They should, they should go back. A, or there's a game plan in your head. Like the, the, this like this John Perez yeah. coming up, you start him with a fastball, you end with a slider, change up in the middle. I also wanted to be known. Babe Ruth didn't have steroids, just hot dogs, and didn't have and uh, <laughs> pitch stealing through he was playing, electronic he was means. playing like janitors. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the dude, <laughs> the is dude the was best. playing janitors. They it doesn't throw, matter how, how fast they throw him back then. It doesn't matter. Like eighty miles. It's an proportional hour. to your era. I hear you. You no, can't say I like, oh, you. Michael I Jordan's worse than LeBron because it's, they were worse at basketball. It's back the then. Will Chamberlain argument. Yeah, Will Chamberlain was a head and shoulders above everybody else he played against. Does that make, is that a problem? Like, is that an issue that he's the best center ever to play the game? Of course not. He just was better than everyone else. At well, that time. where does scaling fall into it? Right. right? So, a, like, if he was that good, and then he was surrounded by good people, like, like he would just continue to get. That's what I'm better. saying. Like, like if you put level. those right. people in today's era, they're going to be insane. They're going to have access to the best resources that we have today. They're going to have all the knowledge yeah. of the hundred year history ba- of Babe baseball. Ruth. Babe Ruth would get rocked if he was pitching. No, he would, dude, the dude was hitting 500 <laughs> no, feet no, home no, runs. He was hitting in yes, 1920. But he, he could not be pitching. That's crazy. He will not be pitching in this era. If he probably wouldn't be he pitching. He would be getting era. rocked. Yeah, but then he'd be he like, how can you say that though? We don't even know because he would grow up in a totally different era. Like we Imagine have access he was to so much more hitting. Well, he would, dude, he's the right. parks he were would. so much bigger back then too. Like they this were, dude was just a hoss. You know how big fucking Forbes Field was? Yeah, and he would Forbes hit field was dingers, four, bro. Was four fifty to center field. <laughs> he would hit dingers. <laughs> well, uh, it might have been it might have been four ninety nine to center field. He's the best to do it. It was a long Still, fucking way. In closing, it's uh, crazy how the legal, the legal, <laughs> legal engines are so bad now. I mean, if Babe Ruth played league, all I'm saying is Hunter T wouldn't be in eighth place right now. They're in eighth place. Okay, eight out of the ten teams make playoffs, and they're flirting with not making the fucking playoffs. <laughs> it's Isn't the most disgusting. Because you? then you don't have to go to Korea. Well, yes, that's great. <laughs> but the problem is, is that Double is going to retire if, again, after this again. Yeah, because why would he play again? He's he sucks. He doesn't okay, suck. So he, he He's sucks. doing well. He's doing well. His team's awful, dude. Are they awful, or are they just awful with him? Like, he can't gel with the team. So That might be it, but from a spectator armchair analysis, is it's that not his fault. <laughs> are, the, are the rosters locked, like in Valorant and CS? Yeah, because there's, there's just like not you, enough people. Well, I mean, so, I mean, you can't... So, in like, I think in Valorant, you can't change, a, like... More than half the roster in a season. Oh, so like that. I, that's what I'm wondering. No, like, you can. You never yeah, want, teams uh, okay. have okay. nuked their whole roster. Yeah. Shit, okay. okay. Are there import roles in Valorant like there are in League? So you can so, only have 
two <laughs> imports on your team. Well, that's so... What? At least in CS and Valorant, yeah. you, you can... You're region-based. So, like, if yeah. you have more... like So, NA is one example. If you have more than half the team not from NA, you're no longer an NA team. Oh, but you can be based in NA still. Right. So, like... Because it's a tournament structure. That makes sense. Right. And mm. so, like... You qualify by region. Right. And right. So, okay. Like, if you have, like, CIS is a region. If you have CIS players on your team, you don't really, like, you're in CIS region. You're right. not in the European region. So, it just depends. Every tournament's different, at least for CS. Like, I follow that way harder than I follow Valorant. Yeah. So, League has a season structure mm. by region. Okay. So NA has their own season, and yeah. then they have a tournament at the okay. end of the year with everyone. So they have that too. Then then CS has a region based pro league. Oh, okay, that you play okay. In ESL pro. And does that work the same way then? Where yeah, it's, it's like, all region. Like so. So if you if you have more than half your team is CIS, you have to play in the CIS region yeah. league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. But that, I think in that one they actually combine CIS and Europe because okay, there's, sure, there's not enough not CIS enough teams. Yeah, yeah. But Europe and NA are their own separate. Yeah, they just included Oceania in NA because there wasn't enough people. Yeah. 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 So just to wrap up this Babe Ruth discussion, I oh looked up God, his pitching stats, <laughs> and no, uh, I'm only going to talk about a few stats that really things that took me off. Make guard. his point. Oh yeah, cherry yeah, pick no, the stats you like. Cherry, no, that's I'm cool. Not, I'm not cherry picking no, stats. No. I'm, some of these are in your favor. Some of these are a bit weird. What's weird? The part I don't understand. So he pitched in 163 games. He had a career. ERA of 2.28. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh here, here's God. what's weird. His his win-loss was 94 wins and 46 losses. But the weird part that caught me off guard, he started 148 games. Mm-hmm. He has 107 complete games. Mm-hmm. So yep. 107 mm-hmm. out of 148 games he started, he finished. And I bet you he lost a decent amount of those complete what's games. What's weird, he only has... Four Pretty shutouts. sure there were still nine innings back then, by the way. There too. were. Yeah. He only has four <laughs> shutouts, though. That's mm-hmm. the weird part. The other weird part that sticks out, he averages, career average, 3.6 strikeouts per nine innings. That's really low. That's is it ground low. ball? It's very low. It's it's low. Like, but, like, <laughs> come on. That, that's not like he's following everybody with that. I mean, yeah. that's not... That's it, not that a, like it's he's weird. A weird like, contact hitter. So like it's pitcher. weird. He's a contact pitcher he's that contact had a hundred some. Right. Like what, what's that ratio? Complete that's game so to game. That's started. disgusting. That's, that's like insane. Yeah. That's insane. It's like his 80. one his one season is wild. He went. It was in nineteen sixteen. He had twenty three wins, twelve losses, an ERA one point seven five. Jesus. Forty one games started, twenty three complete games. And then the next year, 1917, he went 24 13, 201 ERA, complete games 35 out of 38 games started. Well, yeah, he would. All the boys were at war. <laughs> Three? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I didn't even think of that. What'd you say? Yeah. All, the, all, so the, all boys the boys were at war. war. <laughs> so, of course, he'd go, so many complete Except, games. Uh, good old babe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <clears throat> Did he play in the 20s? Excuse me? Is that World War One? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hold on. When did that happen? 1918? Go ahead. When, go ahead. Tell us when <laughs> it was happening. <laughs> it, it ended in 1912. 1919. 1918, I think. 1919, it officially ended. Roberto Clemente. It was, was 1915 through right? 1919. I, I have no idea. Yes. 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 Probably. Yes. He, was, 19, yes. he was. Roberto left-handed. Clemente was what? Left handed. Batter. By the way, Mike yeah. Trout, yep. highest in active players, 51 on the list. Tied with Chipper Jones. Yeah, Shohei only has yeah. like nine. Shohei, right now. not. But he's also five. only been in the league for three years, right? Yeah. No, so. it, it will get up there, especially if he gets traded. <laughs> he's going to be traded. The, the next Yankees. ones are all pitchers, so interesting. All right. He's We're done. We're done with Babe Ruth. We're done with Babe Ruth. Fucking any, cl- any closing remarks for your League of Legends? Uh, they suck terrible. I literally threw my phone across the room yesterday. They lost to Cloud9. They're fucking awful. Their jungler has 0%. First blood participation in this split. That's, that's not terrible. even possible. Dude, that's that's not terrible. even. My clash team, okay, made of two golds, the research department, and two other guys <laughs> could beat these guys. I'm <laughs> sure of it. You think? Absolutely. They're that bad. <laughs> wow. Put Calvin in the jungle. He'll get 1% KP. Yeah, but first like, blood. You would lose that farm at 80K. No. You'd be, you'd be I'd walked all over. Smash them. Okay. You, smash you're saying them. you can beat double lift in like the bottom lane. Got I'd it. smash them. 
Okay. Are you smashing with me? Adam me Smasher. At the bottom? A hundred percent. Put the research Let's department jungle. in the jungle, he'd run over right. their jungler. Yeah, He's just with, been with, the with worst player league. With our like 100 CS after 20 minutes, yeah. we're going to beat <laughs> double lift. Got it. Dude, put him on Misfortune Blitz. It's over. It's absolutely <laughs> a done deal. Locked. That's wild. Put, him on, put Mike on Fizz. Yeah. You put me on anyone because I'm the GOAT. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, <laughs> Research department goes anything too. Yeah, probably Warwick, maybe. <sighs> so they're so bad. I'm like so pissed. I like broke my hand, dude. Cause so I slant. So I was watching it, and then I slammed it on the bed, and then like five more times, and it hit hit me like right in the in the nut. <laughs> yeah, of the hand. So the the hand, terrible, nut. Yeah. hand nut. Dude. Yeah, the wrist. And I threw my phone across the room. The wrist. He means the wrist. I right here. I you know that I little nut. Feel that bone somewhere. Yeah, Right here. Yeah, it's me and NIP, dude. Ninjas in pajamas for CS. Fucking, they blew it yesterday. Dude, Bjergsen played for NIP. Yeah. Early, yeah. That was his first team. A little, uh, little history for you guys. Swedish-based organization. He's a, he's a Dane, I think. Is he? Yeah. All right, anyways, sorry about that. I'm fucking <laughs> livid. If you're just coming back, welcome. Here. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. John, uh, John wanted to be on the podcast. Always like having guests on. You have to bring a top five. Uh, <laughs> and then today we decided on our uh, on our top five. Would you like to tell us what the top five is, Arvin? Of course. The uh, top five for today's episode is top five Harry Potter movies. And that does include the newest ones. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. wait. I was not expecting yeah. that. The, uh, the Harry Potter that, that movies. That was my, my curveball. I like to throw John Harry, one of those Harry right Potter now movies. Babe Ruth curveball? No. Oh, all right. Don't worry. None of them are in my top five, so they're all shit. So. The uh, How to Train Your Dragon. What are those called? The, the Fantastic Beasts. Fantastic yeah. Beasts. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The prequels. I haven't seen them. You haven't seen all of them? How many are there? Three? Three. Three. I haven't seen any of them. It doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. I mean... We can we can even, rank them. They're going to be last. The only, the only person they are, that's sweating uh, they is are in my. They're in my top five. They're not in mine. So I, all I, three of them? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, what, no, one one of them is close, but it, nah. I don't think it cracks my top five. Thinking about it nah. on the spot. All right, well we go chronological then, right? So we From go chronological worst to best or best to worst. Chronological, we go chronological time. movie, and then we talk about <laughs> oh. uh, real quick. Yeah. Chrono yeah. is a prefix. We, no. we will no, no. Real, real quick before we get into this, when you say best movies, you're just talking just the movies. You cannot base it off of the books, your favorite, correct. anything like that. that just best if you're quality movie though, or like what exactly what you learned from the movie, best movie. Yeah, yeah. If you're yeah. if you're arguing though, I think you can bring the books into it, but you can't be like, well, this is my favorite book, so this is the best movie. Like. Yeah. I, I feel like if you're like, hey, this is very faithful to the book and stuff like that. Yeah. That I mean, I funny. did not read the books. Did you read the books? No. I read I, almost. Yeah, I read all the books. Yeah. Okay. So then you and, and Perez are the only two that can really speak to that if you want to make that argument. But I don't want to support JK, so, you know. I, I mean, yeah. Even though I'm the, the other, the other did you just <laughs> yeah. So where, where you were you? This. Where, where were you when you were a child? Did oh, you yeah, just go yeah, back yeah. in time machine and burn yeah. all your just, Harry Potter yeah. books? Yeah. Like, and like my memories. Yeah. Like you, <laughs> I will memory say, banks. Harry Potter franchise book wise, as I think that's the only one that I can remember where everybody was like camping out trying to get the new Harry Potter yeah. book when that, it was released. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Borders or like Barnes and Noble. It was what are those? Yeah, Borders is long gone. Unfortunately, rest in power, King. Is uh. Is the Harry Potter craze bigger? Probably yes, but bigger than the Fortnite craze? No. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Nah, I say yeah. yes. Probably. Yeah, Harry well, Potter. Harry Potter grossed way. Everyone was yeah. fucking. Maybe reading because Harry everyone's doing it. Not everyone's playing Fortnite. But almost everyone was playing Fortnite. If you're playing, if you're playing games, you're playing Fortnite probably. And I'm talking, a, but peak, not everyone. Peak Fortnite was crazy. But not everyone the plays only, games. The only book so. series that competes with Harry we Potter is Babe up. and Me, and you know the and Me <laughs> series. <laughs> Magic Treehouse. Is that yeah, what it anyone? is? No, I was just Captain saying Underpants. A book. Captain Underpants. Captain Jack, Underpants. I got banned Jackie, on the band book list. And me, Babe oh. and Me. And, and a doll in his underpants oh with two God. children God. made right, the band. Just gotta uh, stop reading something about Florida. Jesus Christ, dude! I'm against you. Those were the best fucking books. Yeah. Yeah. I loved Captain Underpants, dude. My mother censored that way before. <laughs> she didn't even let you get there. No, it's just Absolutely. a fucking book. So, what, <laughs> like, uh, we weren't allowed to watch like Rugrats, Romans, or because the kids were in diapers. Thebes. What was your favorite <laughs> no, uh, book? Jewish. 
<laughs> Genesis? <laughs> I'm kidding. No. Uh, it was because the the Angelica who like watched them. Yeah. Were just terrible. Was it Melissa? Yeah. John Lester? No, she was. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Wait a second. All right. Wait a second. And I thought killing families was bad. <laughs> we got way worse. <laughs> Woohoo. So Harry Potter movies. All right. So Do we're gonna we wanna... go. We're gonna go in order. Yeah. And which would be we'll the just Fantastic all... Beasts first? Okay. Oh God. All right. It's worth talking about because right, I think we'll that it. they got some places and then maybe sure. faltered. And then uh, we'll just. I take a vote to see if it makes it or is maybe or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Cool. You, you Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Anyone want to talk about that? Is it just me and my? Uh, yeah, it's John too, but no, I, don't, I didn't. I didn't put them on my list at all. So I think it's actually at up to this point, it's a decent series where they lost me, and I think me and you talked about this multiple times before. After you watch the first one, you're like, wow, the first one was actually pretty good. Second one I actually enjoyed a lot. Yeah. But then when they announced it, oh, it's gonna be a five part series. The third no, one No, I think it's five after. Jeez. Like I, I don't I think it was like after the second movie came out or something, they were like, There's gonna be five more of these. Oh no, I thought it was five total. I could be wrong. Yeah. I thought they were they were everybody everybody five. assumed it was gonna be a trilogy or something like that. <laughs> and then they announced it was gonna be five. But if it's five more, so there's we're talking what, seven? I mean I, t- I that would be, would be disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, that's so many. Because the the last one, while they do some cool things in that movie, they almost nothing happens. Like they barely move anywhere in a time. That's because it's like a fifteen page book. Well, yeah, but you know what I mean, like, so it, then it why make my why make five movies? Obviously. It's not that's even the about point. like what they're what they're it's, having it's there. The, the, it's the Hobbit conundrum. You know, you <laughs> could have you could have squeezed one of those in. <laughs> So I, keep talking. I'm, I'm I think it's five it. total. But the first one I actually thought was pretty good, a fantastic piece. The second one actually with Johnny Depp as Grindelwald I thought was really good. I liked it better than the first one, I would say. Yeah, yeah. It was a good building. Um, a good and build I would say that one. was the one whenever you first mentioned that we were including this, that's the one that came to mind where I was like, maybe that cracks the top five. But it, I think it's just outside, in my opinion. Yeah. The third one is one of the worst. Like, there's some really cool elements of it. But it's like very, uh, I can't tell if I liked or hated the Matrix like fight scenes in it. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, in a, it's in a simulation. Like, on the one, the first one was cool, it was well done. The second one, I'm like, what is going on right now? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. um, so, I didn't like, I did not like the third one at all. And, like I said, I feel like nothing happens in that movie. It's literally just one story, two hours. Like, yeah, there's say goodbye not- to Johnny Depp, get. get- yeah, and, and to not even address yeah. that, like, oh, it's like, oh, he's a fugitive. He could have just changed, or he, he's drinking poly juice. No, right. they just completely ignored the ignored fact that they it. recasted yeah. it, and yeah. all his quirks and everything is completely different. It's like yeah. it just does not do it for me. Yeah. I love Mads Mikkelsen. Actually, I think he does a good job as Grindelwald. Yeah, I think a great actor. The where they're going with it's cool, but it was like, you know, there there was better ways to tie that in. Could you yeah. see Johnny Depp playing a romantic? Uh, thing with yes Dumbledore though. yes the I way think, they I set him Johnny up De- on one I think two? Johnny Depp's capable of doing that yeah okay and I think he also looks around the same age as Dumbledore in that where like it's not as like weird Mads Mikkelsen is a little bit older yeah. he does yeah. look yeah. a little yeah. older yeah. Looks like a little uh, little you were right there are five old. movies I was confused because they were talking and they said there are five plans so I was taking it like okay they, here's the three that five plan but it's five plans yeah I, I think right. you you could have did this in three and it would have been just as good. Uh, Probably, but yeah. you know, do you do you actually know the Rotten Tomato scores, uh, which I thought was interesting? Uh, Crimes of Grindelwald, I would guess, was like a 75, 78. No. Or no, that's Secrets 60? of Dumbledore was in the sixties. I thought. No. What uh, were they? How bad were they? Uh, pretty bad. Very bad. Below fifty. Oh yeah. For all of them, they were uh, they were not great. Even so, even the first one. Here, let me uh, let me get here for you. So the first one, seventy four percent. That was the best. Uh, okay. out of all yeah. of them. Second one, Crimes of Grindelwald is at thirty six percent. Oh my goodness! What did everybody hate about that? Uh, I don't know because I'm with you. I actually like Crimes of Grindelwald. I think um, it's better than the first. I, it builds on 40, the first. Forty six was Dumbledore. Uh, builds on the first one. Was, so they thought three was better than two. Yeah, yeah. they're crazy. Yeah, what about the audience that. score. Uh, well, I could get in there. No one really cares about the audience, though. Here, let's see what we got. <laughs> Here we go. uh, so the first movie was 74% <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes, 79% uh, audience. Crimes of Grindelwald, 36% uh, critic, and 54% audience. Really? Yeah. 
And I just watched the second one recently too. And then actually. here, here's the thing with the Secrets of Dumbledore: forty six percent critic and eighty three percent audience. These people. Are Whoa! F- these so people actually, are the third insane. movie, is third is the, the highest. It's the highest. It's yeah. not that you think good. It's guys. Wow. Guys. I think it's for runtime. Like those are long movies. It's it's a long movie. This two 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 hours twenty two minutes. Yeah. The yeah. the attention span anymore. In people was just. Some parts, some parts of the third one are good. Don't get me wrong, but it is not the best of the three. That is insane. I think it's well shot. I think the the CGI and everything is really yeah. well done. Like I, I actually have the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them on my five. Yeah. Um, oh, you mean the first one? I uh, yes, yes. The second two, it's like I like the second one a lot, but do I think it's as good as like the first one? I don't know. The first one kind of set the the stage, introduced the characters. It was you could watch it by like by yourself, uh, which I thought was really good. But overall, uh, I don't know if we necessarily need to put the Fantastic Beasts on the list. And we technically said Harry Potter movie is not we a did. Harry Potter That's movie. True. So. That is true. That is true. So That's I probably yeah. I, movie. I, I would argue yeah. if. Like I said, I thought about the second Fantastic Beast making the top five, just cracking in, but I don't think it does. I, I feel like you'd be you would have to do a damn good job convincing me that one of the Harry Potter we'll, movies doesn't. We'll have it like is it, hovering. Isn't better? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, we'll have it. I, we'll I, have would, it I would agree that all yeah. that, in my opinion, all all well, all eight of the original movies beat these next three, like the ones they just. Oh, see, those. I don't agree with that, but mm, like, we no. can. We'll come back. That to I don't it. agree okay. with. Yeah. Hmm. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the first movie, the one that kicked everything off. Classic. Classic. And Classic. it's going to be in, in the running, we'll say. Yeah, you have to put that in the maybe. I mean, it's like, I think it's one of the most... Um, cohesive stories. It gets, it's cohesive, but uh, I don't even want to say faithful to the book either, but like... Um, just the atmosphere they mm-hmm. get right the yeah. most. Well, first like they, picture of Hogwarts and well, everything. The introduces robes. you to the whole thing. So yeah. really What's that? It introduces you to the whole, exactly, the whole, right, the whole yeah. series. Yeah, so. so the atmosphere they get it the most a, correct in that one. It, um, it does a very good job with it, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. It's, so. it's definitely in the one of the heavy hitters, we'll say. Does it hold up? Yes. I from, just, a, yeah. from a graphical so, standpoint. Yes. The CGI um, is the CGI <laughs> is pr- primarily like when you're looking at like... Uh, Any broom scene, yeah, it, it's is it, not the broom, real broom, tough. Brooms actually don't look as bad as some of the uh, beasts in it, like compared like to like after you, mm. yeah, like the troll in so? the dungeon and the uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, muffin, dude, the, the, the muffin uh, in his garden, yeah. But anyways, room with the flying keys does not look. Good. Yeah, it <laughs> does. Bad. Yeah, that's so like great. really bad. There bro. are some elements that bad. it shows its age, but in general, like you said, it it's the OG that started it. It was really yeah. cohesive story. A lot of the first couple were really cohesive in the first few movies, and then, I think um, it was the same director for a while. Yeah, for the yeah. first three, first three, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the weird thing, maybe it's first two, might be. Um, but same, um, same Harry too. Yeah, well, dude, uh, Harry, but, uh, Daniel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, oh, I lost my Dumbledore changed. You're welcome. Uh, movie three. three, three, three. Yeah, okay. Because the actor passed away, so he he was yeah. only in the yeah. first two. Spoiler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. That's Is that a spoiler? spoiler? It's a real life yeah. spoiler. It's a real life spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Deep cut. All right. So let's put on the maybes. So, okay, we'll put on the maybes. Chamber of Secrets. Anyone have a? I actually yeah, think the I, Chamber of Secrets. Sorry, go ahead, John. It's on my top five. It's so. definitely Ooh. on my top five. It's uh, um, honestly, Ooh. I think it's actually better than the first movie. I do too. You you learn so much more Ooh. about Harry yeah. as he grows up and he yeah. becomes a better, Ooh. like a, just a younger it, kid. It's a better, is. it's a better universe building. Um, yeah. It builds off the first very well. Still tells a cohesive story. The actual story itself is more interesting, in my opinion, because more happens. See, I like the introduction of one. So I, I agree with you. I think it's a better movie, but mm-hmm. I would actually put one above it just because one is the introduction, one is like the, yeah, the cheery. The I actually cheerier think, think the intro in two is better. Like the car scene is like yeah. classic, cool. dude. Pretty cool. Yeah, but the flying you, car. When I say intro, I'm talking like here's Hogwarts. Here's oh, the uh, house. Sure, this sure. is getting yeah. sorted. Here's, yeah. the, here's that, that your room. Really 100%. Cool. 100%. You'll, you'll sort of you miss a lot of that. I don't obviously cover it ever again. So, yeah. But it's really. The one, I, yeah. the, the one thing about the Chamber of Secrets is it's more of like a Harry story, I would say. Like it focuses mm-hmm. on him a lot throughout the entire yeah. thing. Where mm-hmm. the one was like a lot of like everybody, right? Mm-hmm. And you don't right. necessarily know who everybody is at that point. Right. And maybe that's why one is special because like when you look back, you're like, oh yeah, one's really cohesive and like it introduces you to everybody. But me and Miranda actually, she never saw Harry Potter movies 
we just started watching them back recently and we got through the first four up to now and it i will admit after watching them again it does change my opinion and my ranking like now versus maybe before we did this would have been a little bit different Mm -hmm. but two i would say is personally for me i actually like it better than one Mm -hmm. i do i do as well yeah i'm cool with having two on it as a maybe i think two is really good i had the video game too so i've seen that story the most out of any of them <laughs> the, <laughs> so i'm just uh, the, biased uh, the parcel tongue is really interesting if you like think about it like he discovers like that he can actually i know you right. he does it a little bit in the first one he has no idea what the fuck he's doing so yeah right the and the, one, he doesn't do it in the first one at all yeah the, the zoo the, the zoo at the zoo. Yeah, but that's not parcel tongue. He's literally just speaking to the end. But like, no, he, it's it parcel has tongue. To be he parcel does not tongue. speak parcel tongue. Right, but it has to be right. okay. snake speaking we don't in know, English. Because we don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay, Mike. <laughs> but it's goofy. The okay, first Mike. one's a little bit goofy with they, it. Yeah, they don't know yeah. what to do with it, so they just make them both speak English. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. But he's speaking parcel tongue <laughs> to the snake. I will also note that in the second one, introduction to the polyjuice potion which is like a key yeah that's really cool. potion yeah. in the everything in the about that movie is really well done yeah. huh? the mission impossible clause of like mm-hmm. things yeah. you, oh, oh, ripping oh, your face seen. off and yeah uh how about prisoner of azkaban so this is actually the big one that changed everything after re-watching it i used to hate the prisoner of azkaban <laughs> oh, okay. wow. i thought you were going in a different direction oh, no. i was okay. about to punch Scary. you Pri- right. prisoner oh, of azkaban yeah. is brilliantly done yes. But yes. as a movie perspective yes. in yes. terms of cinematography yes. the way you tell a story like that that is so complex and ahead of its I don't want to say ahead of its time but like it was so well done the way they did it yeah. that I used to not like it as much it used to be more on the bottom of my rankings in terms of movies it is now leapfrogged up into like that top discussion so yep. that was the big one that um, always kind of uh, I think it has to be is this the, this the first one has yeah, has this is a lot sure. I yeah, will yeah. say this movie is better than the book to be honest it tells the time travel section better than the book does insanely and it might actually be my favorite time travel like my favorite time travel movie well you didn't see any of jones yet but prisoner (laughs) Prisoner of aspen actually was one of my least favorite books too i would say so but this is why i I think the book was mid but yeah um yeah this movie just oh my god so much better than the book i just love the Introdu- the real introduction you get to his parents and like how much he learns about them and how much he learns about people around him and Sirius and yeah so it just Sirius is great it, when you get introduced to him it's like oh, when you pull Gary this. Oldman yeah. <laughs> <it's> like, yeah. <laughs> he's great my so. only only problem with how they do Sirius in this movie is they make it like they really pour it on and like keep you on your toes. Like you have no idea about him. I'm like, yeah. it, it, you think it's like not easy to explain. Murderer. Yeah. But it's not easy to explain like why he's looking so crazy and screaming at every, yeah. like every photo. Like why does how does he turn into that? Right. That's the one part of the movie. Where it gets I'm like, tortured. It's isolation. Yeah. Isolation. I get that. The but, Cruciatus curse. Yeah, it's, like uh, mm-hmm. you'd be screaming too. It's yeah. a, it's a, you know, it's a, uh, or dementors you or you're, you're not it's screaming like during your mug to... shot <laughs> there's Especially dementors sucking like, your soul out you yeah, might be it's for people that yeah. haven't read the books right it's like oh, okay like he, for me watching I'm like oh that's this guy yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gary, Gary Will is definitely a bad guy might be a bad guy yeah, yeah, he's a bad guy in every other movie <laughs> right like why not yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just a parallel to the American criminal justice yeah. system so that's all it is. <laughs> I, I, I think <laughs> the first three movies are almost lost against a shot took a shot at us oh wow that's a big terrible that's so good how do we feel about God of fire awful my awful awful wow, wow. Really? it's a teen no, romance no. yeah this is one of the best books and they fucking ruin it in the movie dude they make it all about the romance all about the so i will agree with stuff. that oh, terrible so I love cringe I, I thought it was more entertaining than a lot of them yeah i so cringe. goblet of fire is one of my favorite books i actually yeah. think this is one of my favorite movies too it's one of my favorite movies i understand your point on a teen romance but when you rewatch it it's not really that lot of an issue. Like they the cut only part so is much the dance. out too. It's the dance and them growing up, no. coming of age type thing. Yeah. There's a whole, there's a whole 15 minute section about asking people to the dance, which was done. Yeah, but that was the point. Pages. It was like they're coming of age. They're no. like 12, 13. They're like showing to like, hey, this is like a first like, you know, Harry and you're you're watching Ron were really interested in people. Like, yeah. 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 They like, cut so much it. out in, from the book, dude. The whole World Cup was, should be so much longer and the Death yeah. Eater showing up and there's like so that. much. But it's, we're talking about movies. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. They cut so much from the book that's like really pertinent. They cut out the whole elf uh, stuff that yeah, Hermione's arc. Who, who cares about the magic? Well, beans. lucky so, for you, <laughs> HBO will cover you. So wow. Okay. So my thing about it, and this is what I wrote down on this on the my on my notes, 
you meet Voldemort for the first time. Yeah. And it's that's, such a good scene. It's, it's one of the one best, of scenes, the in the whole best series. scenes until you get towards the end yep. of the movies, like exactly. of, the, of the series yeah. of the movies. Mm-hmm. That's why I have it in my top five. I have it at number four. And that's, that's one of the biggest reasons why is because yeah, when is. you first meet him, you're like, holy shit. Let's, let's get through the other ones. Okay. Because uh, we're halfway. Uh, and then we'll start willing down. Right now, Prisoner of Azkaban is the only one that is a lock. So there are four o- open spots. But we have Order of the Phoenix... Terrible, terrible movie. Yeah, awful, I was not a big awful. towards the bottom. Not a big, or if not movie. the worst. Yeah. I didn't think it was very, that bad. <laughs> very good. Uh, that's when Umbridge Dumbledore, comes Dumbledore's in, right? army's Umbridge sweet. Is fucking stupid. Dumbledore's army. Yeah, but she's Umbridge she's is the pink lady. Yeah. She's yeah, a terrible yeah. actress. Yeah. Almost nothing. What? No, she's she's terrible. Like she, she yeah, that's a great the point, villain. Though. Yeah, no, she might be one of the best but villains that, ever. That doesn't make me like like the movie. Have you ever hated a character more than her, Joffrey? I hate her more than Voldemort. A hundred percent. She's the worst. She, Voldemort killed her. Killed his parents. Almost. Yeah, but I that's, don't care. That's easy to hate. That's, that's easy. easy that's, hate. I've seen it. When you're when you're knowing that you're in the right, and somebody is like, yeah, I hear like, it. I mean, in, a, in a place of authority, kind of like hitting you down. Like the that, handwriting just, seems pretty crazy. E- right? Even <laughs> book wise, this was more of like, hey, we're going through an entire school year, and this is like the one n- more normal, we'll say, book where it's like nothing crazy happens. Right. The movie, there literally nothing happens. Like it's Dumbledore's army, yeah, and it just—it's so bad until the end. And the, while the fight scene is cool, it does not justify the entire movie. It gets I'm a love the, the movie's better than the book, though. The book's super bloated and long. I think it's the longest book, and I no, agree. It's not the longest. The seventh book. is the longest book. Seven's are you sure? Seven and yeah, sure. they, 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 they progressively get longer <laughs> are we each time. Gonna cheeseburger I this? Not. I would argue uh, Half Blood Prince might edge out seven. Oh, but that's Half Blood Prince Sorry, was, was, was Half Blood Prince. One yeah. of them is six. Half-Blood I think six, 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 was, six might be the I'm longest. Six is definitely up. longer than five. I would take that yeah. bet. Yeah, I would also take that. I'm not gonna take the bet, but I'm curious now. I okay, so that one's not order. Order the Phoenix is the longest Harry Potter book. Fucking go! I should have took it. Should have believed in myself. Yeah, the critics consensus. I knew that. It's not easy to take the longest Harry Potter book and streamline it into the shortest Harry Potter movie. Right. So David Yates does a bang up job of it. I think. I think you guys are kind of hating on it because the book was bad. It's the worst book. I I did not care for the book personally compared to the other ones. Movie alone, it does not justify. How do we feel about Half Blood Prince? This might be the worst. movie. Movie, yes, I love it. I thought terrible, it was the terrible movie. Best movie. I, I love this movie. Yeah. I thought it was, the way it was shot, what the comedy mean? mixed yeah. with the fact that, like, I mean, Dumbledore dies at the end. Right, and the, that's, and the way that's that that was shot, that's huge. and for someone who was not reading the books and like uh, seeing all of that happen, like just being like, okay, what's going? Because like right. up to that point, it was all like jokes and different things and like yeah, things were happening right. but it was just like and you get smacked with that and then the the scene with harry with, and and, and snape, uh, snape yep. and stuff and that emotional thing like, yeah that's there's a lot, a lot of good the end's good pretty good there. it's like man you, i will you could maybe argue the first half is a little bit boring and like oh you great, mean the first hour and a half okay, yeah but, okay but <laughs> the, the very like once you figure out who snape is yeah and then everything after that like just just amazing. But yeah, you don't figure crazy. out who Snape is. That's you start what, piecing you it. Set it, you set it up, though. Yeah, yeah. like you, yeah. you figure it yeah, out. Yeah, but the, right. but you can't you can't take all the Deathly Hallows parts where you actually learn who Snape was, <laughs> and true. give no, credit we're, we're not, to the Half Blood Prince, it, where all it was was he's having dreams, he's having nightmares. Oh, they need to control your mind. And oh, okay, there's an occasional really good field trip with Dumbledore, but it's literally only thirty minutes of the entire movie. It, I, the really, good, it's a strong 30 yeah. minutes though and I sure think but it doesn't enough. justify the whole hour and a half previously I what, think, what I, happens in the beginning of that movie I'm totally blanking. nothing that's the problem uh, Here, here's the, what I will say about this one he's in potions class <laughs> I love potions two class. hours <laughs> <laughs> here's what I will say about this one they cut out a lot of Voldemort's story so in the book this is where you learn about Voldemort yeah. and his whole backstory which yeah. is super sweet and how he comes yeah, to be. He's, he's schmoozing the Lughorn the entire movie. Like, that's Slug it. Lughorn, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's literally right. two yeah, hours. Yeah, that's right. They, that's do right. Co- they do cover yeah. Tom as yeah. a kid. Because the, 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 movie, the, uh, the movie's, the, like, the movie's yeah. like two hours and 45 minutes, and it's like, oh, he's going to a the ice cream club social shit. with the slug club. And it's like... Yeah. I think they could have handled Voldemort. And then Ron, Ron gets love potioned. And right. Like, it's not as right. good as you think. No, I agree with Mike. I don't think it's as bad as you're saying. But it doesn't that's my point. Though. Is I think learning about Horcrux is a pretty important part uh, of the whole. No, hundred percent, it's important. I think they could. It could have been better though. 
Probably. I thought the acting was good. I thought it was yeah, shot really well. Like it was, it was, it was more of like a film. It was super dark. Thing. Yeah, like yeah, I remember yeah, leaving that theater. So yeah, dark. Dark. That was when the movie started getting darker. Yeah. They, they framed it really, really well. Actually, Goblet of Fire was the first one that started that going was with the dark. dark yeah. uh, I'm Goblet. just talking about like the gradient no, the actual, of the film. Yeah, it was actually, fucking um, crazy dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I remember. But when, whenever they're like the fire's going, and yeah, they're slinging cool. spells, like it's just like it's cool. That's, yeah, that scene slick. with Dumbledore with the uh, and Fairy and Harry in the cave yeah. is one of the coolest scenes. Of yeah, the that's franchise. A, I will yeah. give it that. But and that's like really I good said, acting. Does not justify the first two hours. You know, like the movie. Slug Club. No. <laughs> if we if we if we could go back real quick to the fifth movie, if they could use the word stupefy anymore, they would. Go ahead, keep going. Uh, uh, they do. Uh, it's in it's, it's in seven one and mm. seven two. Uh, <laughs> All right, so the game, Deathly dude. Hallows Part 1 and Part 2. Part 1 was a little bit of just, like, empty space. Like, there's some good parts, awful. but it, it is not, it is not very movie. good. Awful. It's not even um, close to my That might be the worst. That's movie. the worst one. That was my least favorite of them. Because it's, it's, it's literally the all the setup. Yeah. It's all built up. Yep. It's yeah. all built Take up to that. Take Treebeard yep. in Lord of the Rings, and <laughs> that was the first part. <laughs> it's straight exposition. Yeah. And then terrible second part. Deathly Hallows Part 2 is better. It's good. It's a good summary. However, it's Ooh. not the best movie. I would say for me, this one maybe cracks the top five, it does but for it's me. nowhere near the top. What if I told yeah, you I critics agree disagreed and it's top they three. are by far thinking it is the best movie? It's, it's the a, last well, one. We it's, just we just talked about how Fantastic Beast was the exact opposite of what we said. No, too, that's so fuck that's the Return of the King syndrome. Where a, Return of the King gets all the Oscars. Yeah, I mean it's it's it got ninety six percent. Yeah, it's the uh, culmination of everything. Exactly. Exactly. So. That's a hundred percent Return of the King syndrome. You, it's just action. Well, it's it. Yeah. So, yeah. but it's but it's incredible. You will so b- buried behind the action. You 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 witness Voldemort killing Snape, right? Taking the Elder Wand away from him because he thinks he's earned it. Yeah. Except he hasn't. That's wild. That's pretty wild. wild. And then you and then you you know you watch Harry die once, but he actually doesn't because he's actually a Horcrux. So hey, we're Voldemort, all the spoilers, huh? Right. So Voldemort, Crazy. right. So the, ba- Voldemort, the battle for Hogwarts is awesome. It's sick. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. Awesome. right. But leading, I mean, everything leading up to that is still really nice, really good too. Like you, you watch them tangle with the Horcruxes and the rest of all that. You see Ron come back into mm-hmm. the fold as a group. The effects that the Horcruxes have on them. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but that's mostly in one. Note, it's worth noting fair. the audience also agrees that it is the best of the eight movies. So I that's that, crazy. I had that number three. That's I, crazy. I also got murdered on. So right now we have Azkaban on. I know we got <laughs> we got to wrap this up. So are, are there any of these that do we? How do we feel about Sorcerer's Stone? Sorcerer's that has Stone to be on. Makes the top has five. To be yeah, you keep putting it on there. Yeah. All right. You got to respect it. Still, still open to uh, Chamber of Secrets. I think it yeah. makes the yeah. list. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, sure. Okay. I can. We're running out of space, guys. Yeah. We go- have Goblet of Fire. No. Oh, wait, no. Chamber Absolutely wait. makes the list. No, no. We're running out. It is number one for me. Okay. <laughs> that will be fully. fully <laughs> That's for me. the hottest take. It is the it's, best movie. Up there. That takes harder than The Goblin. It is, my, it is my favorite Harry Potter movie. I would. That's insane. I would take the first one off and put out Goblet of Fire in its place. It's close, but that's the thing. I, I can justify that. For me, it goes I four. I'm outvoted. I'm, I'm, well, I don't want to go, go down on that Are one. we doing personal rankings or this is a unison ranking? It's a unison ranking. We all ranking, have to agree on yeah. it. So I, for me. The personal obviously comes into play. But. My five. <laughs> in order. Best to worst. Goblet of Fire is number one. Well, we're just going uh, to. Uh, you said we got to get well, moving. That's, so that's fair Goblet of Fire yeah. is number one. Number two for me is The Chamber of Secrets. Then the first one. And Prisoner of Azkaban, the last one's The Deathly Hallows Part Two. That's my five, and I can argue those as uh, as wow. needed. But I think you guys. <laughs> but are, they must be on there. <laughs> so yes. I can I can delete but, Order of the Phoenix. We all feel good yeah, about that one. I'll yes, just, absolutely. That I don't feel good about movies. that, but sure. You can also How take out the half. Deathly Hallows Part One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Deathly Hallows Part One. Part One. Yeah. Bye bye. All right. Everything except for maybe the second Fantastic Beast can go. Uh, uh, yeah, Fantastic Beasts aren't even on the list. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> if we're good with one, two, and three being on the list, we need to cut one of Goblet of Fire, Half Blood Prince, Deathly Hollows two, and the Half Blood Prince gets a cut. No, okay. yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Half Blood Prince gets cut there. Damn, dude, number one's going away like that. What if I join you on? I can't even join you on Goblet of Fire because I was like, I like Goblet of Fire a lot. 
I, I don't, I don't, I, that blows my mind. I'd be, Goblet of Fire is one of the worst ones. I'd want to easily crazy talk. Cha- so I'm, I'm just going to throw this out here. Chamber of Secrets would be my cut. I would get rid would, of that one. I would cut Chamber of Secrets and then. Oh, uh, you could talk me into cutting no, Chamber would, of Secrets, maybe. I would cut Sorcerer's Stone and replace I don't think you can cut Prince. Sorcerer's Stone. It's I mean, too it's iconic. Good, it's good I can't believe you guys are sitting here arguing. We're going to cut the first Harry Potter movie in favor of the Half Blood Prince. It blows my mind. Half Blood Prince. Every actor is better than the first yeah, one. The really CGI good. is better. It's yeah. shot better. But what actually happened? Tyler's just so technical. Yeah. That's the problem. No, and that's completely fair. To me, I would actually <laughs> get rid of one and two, and I would put Fantastic Beasts on. Like the first Fantastic. Movie. I know I'm out voted there, but so just I'm not because it's more reason that. doesn't mean it's better. Like there, we are no. Not, I, I'm <laughs> saying as a movie, I I was. I enjoyed the story and, and the, kind of like the mystery and everything about how that's going. I like the, the first one was you, fine. How but. could you be so disrespectful to, once I make my move, you're free to check the king. I think you made my <laughs> point for me. Like, <laughs> not it's bad me. acting. No, not no, no, no. It's bad acting. Like, it's, it's, it's a great oh, meme. God. It's a terrible it's a meme. meme. <laughs> it's, it's a terrible scene. Yeah, but did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire is my... Favorite. Yeah, that's a great that's scene. A great scene. That's, that's my a great favorite scene. Meme that's one of all It's a well. It's a badly acted scene. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's still one of the best sequences cool in the whole scene. movie. What? Yeah. It's a bad, the chess scene. Bad. It's poorly acted. Oh, the chess scene. It was a cool chess. scene. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was cool. It, there's cool 12. premise. The problem is there are twelve. It's actually a real yeah. chess board. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when you when you're watching Half Blood Prince, yeah, they were more mature and they're acting well. Yeah, That makes it. They did Queen's Gambit before it was cool. I think they they did more of Half Blood Prince in the the uh, kind of relationship stuff better in Half Blood Prince than they did Goblet of Fire. Yes, I agree. When uh, she ties his Nothing shoe, happens yeah, in Goblet you like that Fire. little uh, no, romance scene Apple there? Prince? That's some good acting. When he t- she ties his shoe. Yeah, in the stairwell. Jesus I remember that part Christ. exactly. Yeah. So the, 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 it and burned it up. I think ju- that's the was Half Blood Prince the wedding or is this Deathly Hallows? Half Blood Prince. Was Deathly Hallows is part yeah. one. Is yeah. the wedding? Hallows was the wedding. Yeah. 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 Half Blood yeah. Prince. Remember, he uh, Harry's just pissed off the entire time. They Dumbledore, ruined. Okay, my Dumbledore point is, they does not talk to him at all. They ruined. <laughs> yeah. They ruined Ginny. <laughs> that relationship was very. Right, no, that was so awful. Phoenix. She's one of the that, best characters. Yeah, that, really, that relationship is really terrible. Half Blood Prince. She's yeah. amazing in the books, and they ruined her. So upset. All right, I know we're having two conversations, so we have to we have to cut one. We gotta cut one. So we have. Half Blood Prince needs Sorcerer to be cut. Stone, it's not even close. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised this, this is so much yeah, of a debate. What would you rather cut? I'd rather cut Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> it's, 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 it's crazy talk. So the problem is, you can't cut Sorcerer's we, Stone. we have to stay United if we want to even <laughs> try to come back. Fine, fine. Just, cut it. It just cut it. Just cut it. For the record, Half Blood Prince would make my list. It's number one on my list. That's crazy. I, I, I don't right. think it's crazy, but I, I'm with you. I, you can talk me into cutting two if it's number one on your list. Now Would I you cut bad. two for Half Blood yeah. Prince? But Let's I just do it. argue Chamber of Secrets is better than Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. No, I never, I okay never agreed to that. that though. I never agreed to that. Sorcerer's Stone I, is better than I, John Chamber. agreed with me when I said that. I think two is better than one. I, I would, We're all, I would agree. We, we're all we have all every combination. I would, I would agree that two is better than one, but I think one is the... Hershey, I'm ready Hershey to cut two right now Hershey if three of us agree, but that deal goes away in five seconds. <laughs> Don, I, what, what dude, yeah, for Half Blood Prince, Done? a heartbeat. Done? Yeah, sure. And Half Blood Prince has to be five. Deal? That's fine. That's fine. Gone. All right. The problem Two's, is gone. Kind of- Two's gone. <laughs> Two's gone. Two's gone. Two's gone. Oh, man. <laughs> it's never going back. This is collusion. I don't like this at all. It's his number one. You know my ranking. It's his number I'm one. Gonna, I'm going to start a competing podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's his number one. What is it on your list? Like four? Two? Yeah. Number two. Oh. Number two is number two on my list. Nuts. All right. Half Blood Prince is number five. Yes. Crazy. Number one didn't even make my list. So, (laughs) what? We have every combination. So, right now we have Sorcerer's Stone, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Deathly Hallows Part Two, and Half Blood Prisoner of Azkaban is four or five. It should have been. No. I think it's. I, I think, think it's one of the best that's ones. My one. That's, that's my, my number one. That's my number two, dude. That's my number one. Prisoner of Azkaban is number two for me. That's my number one. <laughs> oh, no, Michael. It's good. That's yeah, I, I think I, think I just said it was. I think I said it was number four on what, mine. What if we put Sorcerer's Stone in number four? I'm How yeah. Do we feel about that. I like that. I love that play. Yeah, love yeah, that play. Because then Chamber of Secrets is supposed to go above it, but you guys apparently overruled that. So. <laughs> This but guy. he's not salty. Don't this worry. He's not, he's not a nice uh, guy. I just can't can't believe. What I was trying to throw John and you guys. You guys are forgetting literally two and a half hours of the fifth movie. It's Buddy, so I'm going with movie. how it made me feel. 
and yeah, and you know, it's really. I've watched at the every end. one of those, and I remember going to the theater, and I I didn't remember like the names of the movies or anything, but that was the one I kept asking, like Chelsea, oh, what, what's my? And it was Prisoner of Azkaban, and it was uh, the Half Blood. Like to remind the audience, Phantom Menace is Tyler's second favorite. Uh, Star Wars movie. It's a great movie. Yep. And the only reason it's is my second favorite is because I would get too much flack if I said it was my first. Uh, yeah. All right, so we, we got we got to wrap this up. So, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Deathly Hallows, Part Two are the three on the on the block right now. Deathly Hallows Part Two is probably third. Then, yeah, yeah, should have been fourth. I think it's better than Goblet of Fire, but I mean, I can't let, believe you're let letting Goblet of Fire sneak as out long as Azkaban stays in. Because you you know you can't put that at one. <laughs> Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Goblet of Fire is number one. You think Goblet of no, Fire I should be one? I, th- I would go Azkaban. Azkaban one? Azkaban. Uh, over, over Goblet of Fire. Yep. Exactly. I feel like this just, we just, I invited Michael over for the mid pole. He's like, I'm going to present. So I'm gonna what would you make out. you have here? Getting Half Blood Prince out and putting two back in at five? Yeah, at a minimum. Yeah, at this point, this is this is a shit show. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, shit show. I, I agree. Like, if it's my heart of hearts, two should be on the list. Fine, put it on the list. All right, Vasco get rid of Half Blood Prince. Wow. As, one, as long as Azkaban's one. As, as long as Azkaban, Azkaban, Azkaban yes. originally was number. Yes. Th- what did I say? You said four, four on, on your list. Yeah, because Chamber Secrets and the Allura one. Yeah, but Goblet of Fire for me was number one. So <laughs> I think okay, Chambers, Goblet of Fire's oh. two. Yeah. Hmm? It's, it would be two on our list. Sure, whatever. It's compromise. I mean, I, I, you think I'm it's just that saying, far and away I, better? I, I watched. I watched. I, I watched Prisoner yeah. of Azkaban before or recently. It is very good. It is not. It's the a best two Harry spot. Potter he's movie. like. It is not. He's, he's it's so not. upset about it. <laughs> it's not. It, it, it has is no, not. That there is much no. Better. There is no connection to the third movie ever in the entire series. It is a standalone movie, which it's good. Don't get me wrong, but there is no connection. What do you mean? We meet Sirius Black. Yeah, what do you mean? Oldman and, then and dies Lupin. two movies later and, and never Lupin. seen again. What are you <laughs> talking about? He's in literally him. as he's, a ghost. You he's meet present. The two of the most important people yes, in Dumbledore's sure, army. Sure, but he's present. He's literally present for five minutes in the fourth movie, and then he dies in the fifth. <laughs> because the fourth movie is trash. The fourth movie is not true. It does not adapt the books well at all because he is super important in the books. And none of that shows up in the movie. They're too busy you, you talking about who they're going to ask to the dance. We have to, <laughs> we have to make a decision. I, you know what my decision is. Azkaban won, and Let's, then you guys decide the rest. Right <laughs> now, it's Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Deathly Hallows Part 2, Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets. Well, Rod, just put Deathly Hallows at number, number two and put Goblet of Fire. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Deathly Hallows is not. <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> I liked Goblet of Fire a lot. I like yeah. Prisoner of Azkaban more. Yeah, I did yes. too. Um, 100%. I think I, Chamber of Secrets goes above Sorcerer's Stone. That would be the only change I make to this list. Yep. That's fine. I disagree with that, but if, if you feel strong about it. You know. Did I you like just agree with, with me? You said you literally just said 10 minutes ago. I, I think two is over six or whatever. You said two is better than one. No, I did not. I did. I never said that. He it said was, that. John said that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree okay. that it was I think two is a better movie than one. I just... I. I think Respect one's better than two, one. 100%. But It'd I think it's close well. enough where I'm not going to be upset Everyone about it. seems upset with this list. Which you is probably oh, this is the most divisive <laughs> list two, we've two, done. Two is better than one. I'm just happy half Blood Prince doesn't make the top five and two's which, back. Which bums yeah. me this, out. Because this is a great be character like study of Mike. Yeah. If that, yeah. that he's happy that something didn't make it versus his favorite's number two. Yeah, right. Like the greed. Yeah. The absolute greed. No. You know how many things are my favorite and I had to eke out a five? It's. You know what I mean? No, yeah. <laughs> but the, the, there's a difference. I, enough, I'm, I'm okay with I'm okay Same. with Goblet of Fire going too. If you think Prisoner of Azkaban is better, I'm overruled. That's fine. What I have problems with is the half no. Prince. Did you see your face when we said Goblet of yeah. Fire too? Just no, oh, I was just fine with that. That. No, disgusted. I was disgusted by you guys making a deal to squeak in the second worst movie in <laughs> the Harry <laughs> Potter <laughs> franchise <laughs> into the top five. Worst. Yeah. Do they call us the German Airport out All here? Right, let me let me read this out. Let me read this out. Uh, so number five, Sorcerer's Stone. Number two, Chamber of Secrets. Three, Deathly Hallows Part Two. Wait, wait, what? Oh, you're saying that? Yeah, yeah, he's back. yeah okay. Let's we've start we've done this for a hundred and four. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Okay. <laughs> Sorcerer's Stone at number five. Yes. Chamber of Secrets is number four. You said two last I did time. Say two, I'm okay. So I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. It's the second. Anyway, I exactly. Right. No, I. Deathly Hallows <laughs> Part Two is number three. Correct. Uh, Goblet of Fire is number two, and Prisoner of Azkaban is number one. Yes. 
lock it in. That's Chisel. fine. Chisel. Yeah. All right, we chisel. Yeah, it. Chisel. Nice. Done. 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 I've never seen Mike so upset in my life. <laughs> you, you guys, you guys just tried the mafia style, <laughs> yeah. the second worst movie into the top Mike, five. Mike turns to me, he's like, "What'd you guys vote on?" It's like, "Oh, two's out." <laughs> His face. And, and like when I was prepping for this, like very last minute, to be fair, but like I was like, "There's no way anybody thinks Half Blood Prince is like gonna even make the list." I think Half Blood Prince is my second favorite. In fact. Uh. Oh. I, I get to be fair. And it's I would your need to, one. I need to watch it again. And it's your right. one. It is, it is my one. And you yeah. see how much? Are... See how much I'm complaining about it? Yeah, right. <laughs> I should be losing. Like, his I mind. left the theater. Like, in, and this is even over Askren. I left the theater with Half Blood Prince, and I was like, that will stick with me. Just, I just, I really liked it. Uh, I, I equate it to like Lindsay tells me the story when because you know when you go see it, everyone else read the books. She hadn't yeah. finished the book, so when Dumbledore dies, she said she audibly gasped, and she was the only one that did it in the mo- in the movie theater, like. That's, yep. I mean, obviously they knew because they read the book, but if you don't read the book, you're just like, reading, you're just watching the whole way through and you're like, holy shit. Like, which is, which is valid because that's, that was right. where I was, mm-hmm. where it was just like, you, you weren't expecting that. Right. You weren't, and it's just like, holy cow, man. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. That's fair. I don't think it's as bad as he's, Mike says. I don't think it's as he good as you guys say. I'm in the middle. Just, yeah. Just right in, so, right in I, just, I just make deals. Yeah. <laughs> All right. got to wrap it up. That's it. That's it. Thanks for listening to us. Uh, thanks for being here, John and Mike. Thanks I hope, for having me. Uh, Thank we you didn't for having us. Dissuade you from ever coming back again. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's okay. I'm one in. I'm one in one in the top fives. So I'm just, you I, dominated I, the I last can, one. I can hang my head high knowing <laughs> yeah. I bent Tyler down against yeah. his will. Clever. I sat there and watched yeah. dirty things happen to you <laughs> on that list, dude. That was crazy. Which one was that? The uh, streaming services. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Was, my, that was my it. that was my no Vaseline mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, All right we're uh, done. yeah, check us out, CouchCompany.games, and we'll be here same time, same place next week. See you. Peace. <laughs>